Guys, welcome to Keep the Ball on the Ground! <laughs> what a replacement for the big man. What an upgrade. Oh, I, I thought he was getting rid of him anyway. He looked to The big man had a great week well, last didn't he? Oh, mate. Get a picture of the Andy, camera. I'm worried about him. Did that happen? No, that happened to me. With the, with the, the old balloon space. Aye, the, the, the swollen. Oh, mate, he's in a bad way. Yeah, he was back that before, was mate. Wait till you see this, Ken. Holy Is fuck. Is that not him normal? I thought that was a couple of weeks ago. Look at that. Car elephant, man. He was outstanding last week. What's up with him? I think it was... Go to his hair transplant. Eh? Got his hair done. But Anky only done it. Night, Anky only done it the day after he got all that abuse, so it was an excuse to stay <laughs> after. <laughs> oh, I never said. Who was it? Done his hair. Edward. 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 He was. Um, he was trending on Twitter. I was. Oh, it's a fear, mate. Isn't it? But I don't think Anky was the same with me when I was trending after the Scottish Cup draw. Me and the producer up and go, we're like, yes, we're trending, and then we we're trending for getting slaughtered, Aye. not for a good bite. Yeah. So, hey, everyone's got a right to their opinion, mate. But when it, I cut one thing in particular, he said. When he said Carter Vickers was getting to the ball, was a, that's a shocker. Have you ever been tender on Twitter? Just that oh. once. Probably, but... I've tended twice. So. What was it? What was I walk on the, the first time I'd done the walk on with a big leather, uh, leopard print jacket. Remember I walked out the tenant show, lit the, uh, lit the room up. That was the first time and the second one was the Scottish Cup draw where I had a nightmare. And what was the worst thing that somebody said about you when you read it? I can't even remember now. I couldn't read it. It was on the way back for Peter Reid. Remember we were on the motor? Uh, so so you're, you've got a free hour journey back and you're, you're, you're tender on Twitter? Oh my God, I tender. Oh, that's the fear, You were good when you done the Scottish Cup though. No, I got, mate, I got annihilated for that. And for that? Number five. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so see that, Andy? You're right. You're, yeah, I know, I know that. See, because I, I was nervous and I did feel my horns shaking. What I would do is like try put an act, not an act on, but I was going like try to emphasise the ball and, and really force it out. But I was doing it to hide the shaky horn and it came across brutal. By the way, you did you see me your dad's boys, so didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then his pants. Do, you remember, do you not remember Kev on the cold cobs for that Peter? What did he say? What did he try to say? I wanted to couldn't do it. Uh, that's right. What a guy. Kev, yeah, you've been a good mean, weekend. Good mate, I hear. You look like you've, you look like you've been on holiday, mate. Mate, I was I in Madrid last dollars. week for the Man City uh, Real Madrid game. I've seen it with the boys. Aye, with the wee man. Just with oh, the wee man. Aye, brilliant. How the other half love me, isn't it? Not a bad game of football. Oh, mate, it was sensational. Mate, what a stadium as well. First time I've been there. To the Bernabeu? Aye. The stadium, the roof been done. Unbelievable. What a game it was. Well. I, I was flicking between that and Arsenal game. Probably Madrid were maybe better after because the goal got the goal so early. Madrid, I would say, were all right. But listen, Man City control. I didn't. I couldn't see them Madrid getting back in it at three two. Foden, Foden, best player in the world right now. Oh, I mate, love him, man. Foden's right. a joke. Mate, we just so had a wee discussion there. Is he better than De Bruyne? This is nah. no in general. Nah. I think he is. No, De Bruyne's Bruyne. never had a season with the numbers, mate. I mean, he's just been classed as no, he has. Really he has. Uh, no, but goals and assists, I don't think he has, mate. Oh, I'd, I'd he must have assists, but maybe no goals. Assist. No, no he's, no, he's never scored know, a good goal. He had 52 year. assists one season. Though, <laughs> they just keep putting things on a plate all year. <laughs> well, minute the Haaland score last year, 50 or he must have had at least I 10 assists for them. Well, yeah, did we speak about Roy Keane and Haaland last week? League, League 2, League two player. Oh, oh, what a shame, mate. League 2 player, not bad. Eh? He's not like, as clicked better than that Keane. Yeah. He no, no, he stood by it, mate, on the overlap. I don't know if he's seen the overlap. He's like, no, like, he's, he's general overall player. But do you know the thing is, mate? Roy Keane's never played with a League 2 striker. I have, mate. The fucking dog shit, believe me. <laughs> Haaland is not a League 2 striker. I know, player. listen, I'm with you, but it's, it's, it's a mad shout, shout. isn't it? It is a mad shout. I wanted to ask you, did you see Big Charlie's go on Plenty of Pro? Aye. That was funny, mate. I was laughing. And then he got his account hacked on Instagram. Have you seen it? Mate, Charlie won Mogrew straight after. What do you mean? So that his name's changed on it. So now it's Charlie McGrew, like with an L. Aye. The one, the, the L's are one now. So it's Charlie Wunny McGrew, and his, his Instagram's gone. He, he don't well with the Bitcoin, did he? He made a fortune out of Bitcoin. I'm not joking. I have to put a message him. So how did you make that amount of money? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. You see it? No. Uh, so his Instagram mad. put up a post last night, turn on £50,000 in a bank account for Bitcoin. Big message, like, thanks to Tracy for getting me this Bitcoin hack. How's, uh Player to pro started a new thing as well, gymnastics. Graham Murray's taking it in it. Oh, I, 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 I think it's good, it's good to get all multi sports in it. It is good, that, isn't it? It's good Definitely. to clip into that. And the GMS. It's good to the Thursday boys doing it. Do you know he's taking his first session on Wednesday? Oh, we need to go. We need to come. We need to come. He'll be a nervous wreck. He will be a nervous wreck. He'll be good. He'll be nah, good. Nah, guys will be good. What's he planning on doing? Just skills, mate, for an hour, innit? Just play for an hour. Are you done? You recreated your goal as well, didn't you? One take, man. Yeah, aye. Couple of takes. Yeah. Couple of takes. No, but the first take was good. First you just wanted right. to. This was too close. All right. Too close. Big Charlie D, but see when he said the Estonian. No, Charlie. I can see you. Mate, Charlie. What about Charlie's <laughs> first take? <laughs> oh, I honestly, mate, the best ever. So it's a cutback finish, right? So like, 
You'd expect, his one's obviously a turn shift shot like you expect maybe Mike to take a couple right first one what was it like he's finished he's kicked the Astro <laughs> bust trundled right and he's just looked at me like that don't know what's just know. happened there <laughs> <laughs> it was brilliant but fair play the big man come down there I can never remember him scoring that goal for Scotland could aye. you it was Strachan's first game aye first game aye. 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 was it a competitive game friendly aye. no 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 aye. Aye. was it friendly yeah, how's that ball not getting cut back to you bench. why is he getting cut bench Oh, well, you're right. His uh, left foot, but come in for that angle. That side? Uh, no bad. I would still trust your left foot over his. Oh, I'm not sure. Charlie's wanting a good left. Good finish. No, right? but I'm talking about like a striker's instinct, yeah. in it, and about the box. New lads, forget Real Madrid, Man City, or Celtic Rangers. The big news this week East Kilbride champions. Go <laughs> right, on, yeah. Sky Boy. First, uh, first league as a coach. First league title. Biggest right. budget. Well, well, no bad bad <laughs> Should be one of the I got no a 1.2 million budget for you. Can I be a play in it? <laughs> Bigger budget than Livingston. <laughs> Get that, but listen, speaking to the owner Saturday, it's the same budget they've got every year, mate. Is it? I'm with you, mate. I'm with you. Right. Right. Try to save the field the last <laughs> seven years. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> boys, you mean, do you know what? I get it 100% best budget, but some of the football the boys have played have been credo. Yeah, I've 90 goals have scored this year in the league. Only 10 off uh, 100 goals have got three games to get 80 points. You could finish with 80. Four points, which. Aye. And the manner in which they've played, they've played some great stuff. Great, great stuff. I've watched these a few times, mate. You have. Ah, you have been excellent, mate. Played some very, very good stuff. We but as you know, it's still hard, though, isn't it? The next, next yeah, so but then it means nothing, mate. But I'm going to say, aye, it's, it's only first part achieved. I, eh? I hate that. Still I go. hate it, mate. I know, mate. If you win a league, you should be going up, and then the second team or whatever go play off it. No, if you win a league, you, you that full league t uh, campaign should be going up for your winning. Well, it, I remember, mate. I remember when I first broke like through uh, in football. I remember East Stirling finishing both my League 2 for about 8 years in a row and just never gone in it. <laughs> Celebrated it, mate. Celebrated it every year. You had a party every year, didn't you? Because they're not going done. And then the pyramids are obviously are slightly better now, but still, I, I still think the pyramids What happens then, eh, Sai, with that? You have three games to go. Is it now keep going or do you rest players for these playoffs? Uh, well, we've got a wee way that we're going we're we're to work it. Knows. We're going to work it. But we also need to try and get up and watch the two or three teams that are up the top of the Highland League as well you better leave it now mate, <laughs> oh, no, mate. games in Is that days? so there might be a wee case of one of us taking one game and the next one taking another game so we can all get up and because they'll well, play midweek as well are they you close want to see them they? live don't you yep. you want to see what they do live no it's not close mate but remember we played Bucky that's what it could be no that's what I'm saying but is that Highland League is that that's close mate close Fraser, Bra, Breakin and Bucky oh my god you do not want to play Fraser Bra, mate. what I said to Mick the other day you do not want to play Fraser Bra. Highland do you remember when we Rangers played I Fraser Bra I went I was injured oh my you weren't injured <laughs> He's not down. <laughs> <laughs> Send the diddies up, please. <laughs> <laughs> Send the diddies up, love it, man. You don't like oh, it, mate. Bucky, the same. What was Bucky like that last last year? We played in that first ten minutes. Oh my god, I genuinely thought we were going to be eight down first ten minutes, mate. I remember. Boys just kept getting fucking. Lost They've made a couple of world mistakes, didn't they? Ended up winning three two, but breaking a good team as well, so it'll be tough. And then it'll be Clyde Strunar or Bonnie Rig. Uh, we need to play so after a lot that. Of what he played in it. Have you seen still big games to come? Honestly, oh, oh, it's exhausting. See, they thought your full season could be for, no. for nothing, basically, yeah. huh? Aye. Easy to feel. But I, but I, fancy, I, I fancy the boys, yeah, I think I think they'll go and do it. Aye, definitely. Um, but we're on to the topics. Oh. Aye, oh, good, this is a bit so of your loves. You told me that Paul McGinn liked it, so I text Paul McGinn and I says, he's a topic for this week, and he said, uh, dentists, he's against them. Oh, <laughs> I knew what, huh? <laughs> he's chipped about 12 teeth. <laughs> He's got a chip on every tooth. <laughs> He'll be raging. <laughs> That's unreal. No, he, did, he said he, he loves the horn. He's talking about the horn in this stuff. Uh, ah, he's, he's, he's a. I, but he said he said to me, saying, uh, he messaged me saying, Oh, did you tell us? I went, mean, Aye, because you told me that in the gym. He said, Oh, aye. But he does, he, he, he loves it. Uh, I think it's fun. Right, first one is. Last week's were very good. That it's going to take a lot to beat last week. I think this will be good. Because I'm interested to know. Because I you, you're a big one for us. I think, I think you maybe be honest. Okay, I, I want to get your take on it. Handshakes when you meet somebody. Aye. For or against? Against for me. For. I'm a handshake. Aye, for. So again, I, I'm going to relate this to Meet somebody in what though? Well, meet somebody, it's like, so I've met you today again. How you doing, mate? Uh -huh. I know somebody, but for meeting somebody for the first time. No, so no, Just in general. Like you, like, I'm putting it to a football context, Aye. right? Every day you walk in and uh, shake hands with the manager on the training ground, for or against. See, that, that. Doesn't that, that's only came in of late. I didn't really particularly like that. I'm against that. Uh, Why not? Again. You've just changed what you need to. You've changed what the subject is. Well, I'm, I'm asking you both. Uh, I'm asking you both. I'm no big on that. I don't think it's 
Good morning's an offer. Good morning, Gaffer. That's an nah. Do you know why? Yeah. Because we've seen the other way where see, as soon as you lose a game, manager shakes Nabdi's hand. Nabdi's hand. That's right. There's no point in doing it at that point. Spot. No point in doing it at that point. Everybody's left. People looking for the Gaffer. He's hiding his locker. He's hiding his locker. He's hiding his locker. He's hiding his locker. See, when I was a coach at Celtic, it was a big thing. Boys need to shake your hand. They ended up shaking the wee guy's hand about four times. So you did what? Come in for their motor. Come into Barrafield, shake your hand, how you doing? You'd go down to set up, they would run down to the pitch, shake your hand again when you got in the pitch. When the session finished, you had to shake hands, and then when they were leaving again to go in their man dad's motor, shaking hands. Shake your football, mate, but amazing at shaking hands. Eh? <laughs> that was an actual a thing that got brought in, you need to shake the kids' Aye. hands and all that. What a load of shite, man, eh? Just to go. I stay really good. But see if I'm uh, uh, what I thought the original thing, if I'm meeting someone to see, I'll shake the hand all the time. So your pal, like your pal that you see two days earlier, you see him again in two days, you'll shake his hand. I'm sure that was happening, mate. Oh yeah. Right. See, I, I, see, I wouldn't that's a bit different, though. Aren't I, I it's a bit different. It's not really a handshake. I don't like, like it, mate. I, I don't like handshakes. I just think about a guy like me. It's awkward. I think it, it, it's sometimes the way. It's that's awkward. a you thing, then, though. Because it's, it's usually like a bit of shit or something in your nail, aren't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the reason I see it is it really came with COVID when people started doing knuckles because you couldn't. Even though I didn't meet up at Command, like I'm seeing see it later the boy watching and I've went like see it and he's done knuckles and I've just went like she could knuckle like that. <laughs> oh mate, and the two screen it like two like I was leaving the room like oh no mate. Face red, his face is red more like that, see you mate. And the amount of times it's happened, mate, so I'll just wrap the, 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 the handshakes. See on that tell him what happened on uh, your tickets for the Celtic game Saturday. So James gets me and my sister, my sister tickets for the the, the game. So we're walking down the, the staircase at Parkhead and I'm like, oh no, Brian Kerr and, who, and Jamie, Jamie Langfield, Langfield Clangers, you call them. coaches are sitting in our seats. Obviously, pr the week prior, I've said that not once St Mirren play, we get in the command like starting 11. I've said that St Mirren fans have went mental. So I'm like, oh to myself, fuck, I'm going to need to move them. The two of them are sitting right on your seats, what's the chance of that? So I said to Melissa, go and you go down, my sister. <laughs> she's <laughs> sister down, <laughs> No, I didn't. So I said to her, she had a macaroni pie, um, and I, <coughs> I know. So I said to her, go and you down. So I'm up at the, the tap, just came out the wee bit, and I'm looking down. See her. She tells the two of them to move, but the two of them have moved along. She's eating the macaroni pie right in front of them. Then I've came down late and killed on, I didn't see them, but it was frosty, mate. But she had a big, massive uh, cup that she put on the the ledge in front of her, so it was it was kind of in their view as well, the two of them. So you should have bought their view as well? Aye, but the problem was, was it was so nervous, mate. I frosty because of the comments, and I could tell for they two. Did they say it, do you know? Brian Kerr said, all right, mate, but I like Brian Kerr, me and him are quite tight, but it was nay, so I back and forward. And forward. also add to that, that he put Jamie Langfield in his worst ever SPL team. A <laughs> 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 <That's laughs> <really cool. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> and I and mate, see when I but I don't like froze up to you, innit? I mean, I What's the chances, mate? Genuinely, I, I took my officer and must have had to go and sit right. Must have sitting right beside him through the game, so I sat on the other side. But I was genuinely like, just like watching that <laughs> off the whole game. <laughs> totally Didn't you see that? <laughs> see about eight corners. That was that. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. It was that uh, bad right. Day. This one relates to yesterday as well because Rangers players going up to the fans after a defeat. So the, the question is for or against clapping fans after a defeat. Ah, you've just won them. You've got to. Have to do it. You have to do it now, right? Uh, you have to. Because if you don't, you get uh, happy. We've came all the way up here and supported you, and you've not even. But see, when you do, you walk in like that. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> do you want? Do you want us to come on? Carry on, mate. Carry on. You got to go and take the abuse because you deserve the abuse because you've got beat. Uh, so go up, clap them, take the abuse, get down the tunnel, right? That's not happening again. But do you know when you didn't mind it too? When you'd been beat, but you'd played well, I'd be the first up like that. <laughs> 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 no, you stay at the end. Snapchat <laughs> <laughs> <So they've> <laughs> had the booze, you go last lap. <laughs> no bad, you. See, <laughs> 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 when you've played shit, mate, you're like you're behind right? everywhere. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> <laughs> well done. You like the boys that they say anything about me? <laughs> mate, did you see that fuck up? What was that? Do you think he was talking about me though? Oh, mate, see that uh, when the manager bro. goes like that to you, go and clap the fans. Your heart, mate, innit? I don't like the new hanging football where uh, everybody's walking right around the pitch, clapping everything. Aye, everything's a lap of honour. What is that? A lap of honour should be if you win the league or a cup. No, no so what, like, after that, every that's game. Every, that's every team. Guy, but I mean, I clap the fans and appreciate them, but I wouldn't get a big lap of honour for every win. No. And she's big when it's Spurs to it. It's they did everything. Uh, they did everything. They still do it, no? I think they've done it for Rangers as well. I don't like that. And just going around seeing if anyone's left a pie on their seats, aren't they? <laughs> Big man starving when it comes to the end of the game. Did you hear a manager that was massive on that? You've been at Rangers, must have 
Again, imagine I, I, demands that. I maybe just missed fans. that. Maybe I'll, just missed uh, that kind of thing. Eh? But I think that, 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 that was some teams come to a player, though. No, uh, who would that like be? You, well, maybe you would say yeah. something like, like, "Make sure you, yeah. make sure you clap the fans or something." But, after by the way, but you could also go to the middle and just give it the like kind of run the centre circle, then get yourself done. Now it's the you're run the ball periphery, you know, getting hit with things if you have got beat, you know, yeah, yeah, getting yeah. dogs abuse. What so if you're in the centre, so you can't heal the abuse. What about have you ever had a particularly bad? Performance result where you went up to the fans and it was proper abuse. See, I can't was remember. there a game that? There have well, been loads of games where there has been that scenario, but again, it's clapping the f I, I can't really remember the. See, again, the abuse, I didn't mind it. I would react to it. I didn't mind it. Even if I had a nightmare and get beat 8 0 in a fancy years, right? I'd react to that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I would, oh, I would, mate, I wouldn't like that. Stephen Robinson, wasn't it? Was it Livy? Went up to ah, the fans and, so and before you know it, he's fucking nearly on. That was just Sunday. there as well uh, when they were flying. Like flying. It was yeah, harsh, right? Where he's standing. That was harsh. The Ronnie Ross or that Ronnie Dyer, but you have a manager doing that. Club no. does it as well, mate, but, but, but again, same thing. See, when you get beat, mate, the fuck is just straight up the tunnel, man. So, what are we doing that? I never know, do you know what I mean? I'm not a massive. Aye, I don't fan like of that. I don't think players would appreciate your manager doing that. Well, Klopp's that a wee bit different, but I don't think I would like my manager doing that. Did you hear a manager that did play up, fought, played up to fans? A lot day, by the way. A lot day on the side of that pitch, and I've clocked. I won't name names now, but I probably will at one point. Nah, um, I can't think of one, to be honest with you. I played a I played with a manager that wouldn't have stopped looking at the chairman, mate. Well, after scoring that, I was a sub the full time I was there, but every t no, not even when we scored, mate, we get we'd win a fucking throne. He'd be like the chairman. <laughs> <laughs> what you want a fucking clap? Honestly, mate, <laughs> you see, you looked at me when you looked on the pitch, mate. <laughs> okay, by the way, you get players like that as well. Oh, bench watchers. Oh, Kaya, Kaya Kaya was the worst. Ka mate, Kaya at Celtic was the world's worst for that. Used to look at Eleni every single minute of the game. TV the magic, you just did that, wouldn't you? <laughs> What are you looking at, man? I know. Oh, I know a few of them as well, mate. Bench watchers. No name. Bench watchers. Do you know a few? Oh, there's loads of them. Do you know them? Aye, no. At Rangers. Aye. Do you know some Andy? I don't need. Aye, again, no, I don't. I don't think I'll name. There's two that jumped out to me straight away, straight away. But I'm not. Guy Stephen, isn't it? No, no. No, okay, it's not like that. See, when you're on the bench and you're on the bench and you can see it, that's all you talk about, innit? What was that like? Fucking looking again! What was that like? I love it. Right, last one, lads, and the big one, big talking point of the week for me amongst my mates. What has happened to the 10 minute preview? It's gone. For and against it, being gone. It's gone. What, the role play in that? No, no, no. See, like, see when the channels used to start at 12 o'clock, see at 10 to 12, they would stick on a 10 minute preview. All right, aye. It was the greatest 10 minutes you'll ever get. She'd come back in a second. It's disgusting to band that. The amount of times <laughs> me and my dad no my dad sorry <laughs> no, 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 no. the amount of times that me and my brother would go down there and, and have a wee sneak preview and he would wander out and still four minutes to go and have to the last four but <laughs> last four. but we get busted because uh, we went up one night we must have had too much fun and we went, up, we went upstairs and obviously did what we had to do and then fell asleep and woke did up we and woke today? up and my mum's turned the telly on on the channel that we left <laughs> it was on. Still on fucking couldn't believe it busty babes mate and she thought it was <laughs> Fucking oh, got it, my ma caught his man. Did you ever try and put in just any sort of card details to try and get it on? Hey. Just guessing your dad's card All details. All the time. All the time. Are they days, weren't they? I need to get that back. You would replace sex with a handshake, you said, didn't you? 100%. I think if I was a Prime Minister, I'd ban all sex. <laughs> I'm the worst in history. <laughs> four or against four. him. Four. You like that? Four, uh, right. Ken. Well, we're going four, aren't we? We're going to stick with the squad. Great topics. Any pet peeves that you want to bring up before we get started? Oh, I did have one and all. I miss the pet peeves. Do you know what? Do, do, I did have one. Do you know what needs to come back and all when you used to, but you bring one food debate to start? I love the food debate. Oh, well, I've got a f I was going to put a food one and I'll get it now. <laughs> Tinned fruit. <laughs> Cereal killer. Aye. Cereal killer food, don't oh, yeah, I? Never have it. No, never, mate. I remember that, when that, I was younger. That though, water I at the bottom, mate. mate. Kev baths in that, didn't he? See, I remember <laughs> when I was younger, I liked the tinned pears, to be did fair, you, but I've not had it for a long time. I used to drink the. The pill just oh. <laughs> Did you mate? Like that, oh no mate Tinned fruit is my idea I mean I wouldn't have hell. it there I don't think Your granny's always had it then On a Sunday Aye. Always Oh she always had a bit of pear In her fucking peach oh. In her teeth or something like that <laughs> okay, then like he's a kiss good night He's a kiss good night Fucking tinned fruit Or her Paul McGinn had 12 pears <laughs> Just <laughs> He's top row. Charlie Adam had a full watermelon one house, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a full oh, chocolate bar stuck in your in between your teeth. Just one big oh, mouth mouth. Still on the wrapper. Still on the wrapper. 
Go bad. Oh dear, right. I mean, go to the fact, but just take a second. Road, mate. Yeah, yeah, I've done. Yeah, I've done. <laughs> what a bad weekend I've had, man. Oh man. By the way, right. So we were out Saturday night on the on the couch Sunday, hung over as fuck. Stick the Rangers. I actually couldn't believe what I was watching, mate. Aye, mental. I'm with I, you, can't I, I couldn't believe it, especially after they they come back against Celtic and get that point after being two 0 down and the way the crowd not was and. Have, the, have they had a game under like Clement that? where they've been that far off it since he's came back? I don't, I don't think that bad, mate. Uh, in terms of a full 90 minutes, no. Clement talked about is. how he, he wanted, he, he's, he's seen what he thought should have been the full performance the last half an hour. I thought they were poor in the last half an hour as well. I to me, they never really looked at scoring at 3 2 it's 1 mayor, 3 uh, 1. It's made their 3 1 down. It's made 3 1 down, and by Ross County, like, wow, it's protection mode now. Oh, aye, don't so now you've got all the ball, but there was no lot created. But there was no lot of energy. You know that everyone thought the same thing. Rangers are lucky to get one at half time. No, it's a, a good chance for come on to get them right. Get your finger out, warn them. Because the warning signs were there. The full first half, they might have a chance you've counted. They were even worse in the second half. Uh-huh. First 15 minutes of the second half was unbelievable how easy it was for Ross County to get up the pitch. Well, let's rewind it to the start of the game. What was your thoughts when the team came through? Because the team selection has been hammered on Twitter. Surprised it's been Barisic hammered. Dill. Dill. Barisic. Sterling has to Dill. start. Dill. What'd you call him? Who? Yeah. Kieran. Oh, Dildo. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the boy Dildo, he's no, he's no started a game since January and I know, listen, Hattati was out and he came in and started so he could, but, but for me, Sterling has to play in that Rangers team. Steve, no, Steve has no play played since January. The last place you want to play your first game back is Ross County away, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You've got an Ibrox in that big Sterling has to play where it's left back or it's where, where in centre mid where Dildo is. Off a of bat, for I, me, I, I, I don't think Sterling can play centre mid. But that's if I know no, he did a good... I'm left no, back. I'm saying left back. left back for me, but no midfielder in that game. You don't need a... Centre back, stroke right back, left back, right playing centre mid against Ross County. Away. Type Kenny, yeah. You need somebody else in there. So whether it be Lawrence, Lawrence who cup plays and because he's done Lawrence and Campbell as well, with Lundstrom behind. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, Dio Mandy missed it. What was it? <laughs> a sore, so a sore finger. What? Man, so uh, broken thumb. Nah, I think I, I, watch, I was watching the ten minute preview. Didn't <laughs> <I>? <laughs> That's shocking. But but sore come on, said praise right because it. it since he's came in he's rotated 4-5 players every game and for the most part he's been praised because the boys that have came Aye, in yeah. performed well won yeah. you've got 6 games left to go yeah. you win every well, game see, best fair. Yeah. and to be fair he's actually not been rotating as much recently the last few games maybe because of injuries or whatever but he's, he's then went down that road again uh, yesterday and it's, listen it was a poor performance but you, it's not just the guys that came in by the way it's guys who have been kind of Every every single week starters that weren't quite at the level as well. Because you actually, I'm sure last week you said that Sterling for you was Rangers' best player. No, uh, for me, I said that he should Last be one match. of the first names in the team sheet because I I, I I don't think he's had a bad game. There'll be games where he's like maybe ineffective in that, but I think he's one of them where you know you're, what you're getting after yeah. all the time. You're getting a six, seven out of ten minimum. And again, I'm I'm with Kenny. Don't the Barisic away in the summer. Play him left back. Yeah, should, should, just, will that be the last time we see Barisic drinking a Rangers jersey now? So, mate, well, I, I thought that a few weeks ago, but then Yilmaz obviously gets injured, and then that means it's it's only really him that's the out and out left back in the squad. But Why yeah, I, I see, think at the end of the change. day, right? It, there's no excuses. Ross County deserve to win the game. Mm-hmm. Like, it, they could have scored four in the first half, Ross County easily, and then second half they came out and. It wasn't even it was as if it was a defend job for ninety minutes. Like they, they were attacking Rangers, they were yeah. getting fought every counter attack. Jan Dander, if they won the ball, the, Dan, if they won the ball the right hand side, Jan Dander would stand in that space on the left hand side. They would turn, play a pass, they would run it Rangers back four mm-hmm. for the full game. That's what I think Clement will be most disappointed. I know they, obviously the result, but the way they, they, they got played on the counter, like he's actually talked about being secure behind the ball, and he's talked. Which is what they've been good at being organised. Yeah. See there, every time Ross County went forward, or every time they had a chance to go forward, they're breaking down behind Tav, they were breaking down the left hand side. Obviously, their, their goals came for the wider areas. It was. Uh, they missed a seven side the first minute. Minute, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, again, f- wide area, cross across the goal, and at the back post. Again, what a goal. Do you, mean, like, you say this stage of the season, everything to play for. Is it they've not been like that. The full time Clement is it is it pressure? Eh? Well, well, I don't know if you, I don't know if it was Chris Sutton or, or Faddy said it, but it, I think as players, every you all agree, the worst shout you can hear for fans is, "Ah, the team wanted it, man." It's the worst shout ever. But the, actually, Ross County for me did want it more. I think it was it, I, I can't remember who it was. It just said that Rangers looked so lethargic for the first minute, and they did. Why do you think that is? Ross County, by the way, they were they were excellent. Ross County as well, but Rangers should be turned up. Well, listen. He said about the, like, he didn't mention the preparation. That's that, that's got nothing to do with it, is it? Shouldn't it be? Shouldn't it be? In no. relation to what? what the was Dundee it? game I, and they went up there. They missed a day's training. Session and it shouldn't matter for me. Nah, 
It yeah. shouldn't. Listen, as it affected your week's prep, I. But by the way, what if the game had been on and your ninety minutes of energy on that expended pitch. onto that pitch? You know, so that might have made it even harder. You still weren't going to have that that day's prep anyway. Listen, there's no excuses. There were seven games to go for Rangers before Sunday to go and win a league, and they've went up and, and dropped. Do you fancy these players to, to turn this round? The, the, the mad thing is, is they're still in the same position they were before the game, where if they win every single game, they win the league. Mm. But just the way, in a, in a title running where you can't slip up, to slip up in that game when Ross County have never beaten Rangers, mm. never beaten Rangers in a competitive game, and a manner that, listen, it would take a brave man for me to think the Rangers are going to go and win at Celtic Park, just based on yeah. what we've seen in the old firms this year. I just, I, I personally think Celtic are big favourites for the league, but... Come on, listen, he's had, he's had praise and I think he's got the best out of the squad he's had available and got them a lot of wins. He's got them back into a title race. And I, I don't think the league's over for a minute, mm. but I still think Celtic are, are big favourites. Here's my big question for the week and we'll start with what we used to. Simon Murray up front for Ross County, Cyril Dessers up front for Rangers. If you're a Rangers fan, player, you could swap the two of them for the rest of the season. Would you, would you take Simon Murray over Cyril? I love Simon Murray. <laughs> One thing I would say is, Goatee on a man needs to say you need to shave that mate. He's been oh. out, anyway, he's been out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you used to be in the middle there. <laughs> si, you've got to get rid of that, mate. It's got to go. Oh, Simon's a bad facial hair, isn't it? Gingers. He was out, honestly, Simon, the last five, six weeks has been outstanding. He's so up for the game, mate. Honestly, any kid watching, watch him. He's enthusiasm, the runs he makes after the ball. He must be a defender. Nothing to do with him on the ball, but just no, a bit off it. Just don't pass. No, I can only. He obviously scores yesterday, but he has been. He's been a breath of fresh air watching him. Did that's you worry over Dessers? No, I wouldn't. Have. But that, that, at the end of the day, that's what Dessers has been all season. He's he's been he's been good for a game. He's not been great for a game. But the big thing is, is just he's never really fancy him with a lot of chances. Mm. He scored. He just scored seventeen goals. He feels like he could have scored forty, honestly, because mm, yeah. it feels like every single game you're talking about these one two big misses. The one in the first half for me that he takes a touch and he just there was no conviction. There was no like. It was just he was chasing after the first touch and then even then it was a stab to try and poke it by Ross Laidlaw. And again, if that goal goes in, you, I don't think Rangers deserve but if that goes in 2 at half time... It's game over. It's game over yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. obviously, he's Ross County impetus to come back out in the second half and like, do what they've done. Will they take Dessers out against Dundee? Oh, for who? Would you would, put Fabio Silva out for it? No. Up no. 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 I can't yeah. believe his reaction is coming Ruth. off either. I know, man. I know, shanky seed. Dessers got the jersey for the end of the season. Ruth, Kenny? I don't, well, listen, I you, forget, you forget he's back because he's actually he's actually not been in the squads mm -hmm. in the last few games as well leading into that. So you've got to question where his fitness is at. Can, can he go on and start a game? I mean, there's no doubt I would probably say he would be fully fit and firing. He'd be a better option to lead the line, but again, he's no he's no getting the chance. He was heard he was heard asking Diamandi how he done his thumb, wasn't he? <laughs> he's done that. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> how did you do that? Well, Kenny's been involved in a title race. Uh -huh. A lot of titles, Hello, is there right. any questions you want to ask him about it? No, just uh, really just sort of comparing it to the, both the new. What will they both teams be feeling? And will, did you feel a lot of pressure getting into them the last few games? Aye. Again, the, the, the worst, well, the best one it turned out to be was 2008-2009, my first season back. We were four points back at going into the split, four points back. I think there was four games to go when we played Celtic at Ibrox. We, we, we needed to win. A draw would be no good, you'd be four points back with three games to go. And it was the one, it was Devo slid in with the knees, put it in the goal, when we won 1 0, went on to win the league. And that was, but the thing about pressure is you feel it, of course you do, because you know what's at stake. You just say that about size, he's called Bride, you put a whole year, you win a league, and mm. that's, that's, what you, that's what you say to do. But uh, you know, the, you feel the pressure, but it's about having guys in there that can deal with it. The guys that can still actually can go and deliver. That's the question mark, I think, about this Rangers team is. Uh, even a wee bit about Celtic I know they've won so much <clears throat> but it's, it's not been this close you know I know they've won the cup finals and they've done this and they've won so many leagues but this is whatever group of players handles it and steps up and delivers in the right moments I'll win the league See when you say you feel the pressure but what are you just going into games mere nerve is there mere a nervy feeling going you know you just know like if you drop points you're, like, you're, it's going to be gone in that particular game we knew if we lost if we never beat Celtic that day we were not going to win the league with four, four, three games to go four points back it just wasn't going to happen and did you find that affect your performance Kenny on the pitch? no nah. nah, you never no, that's what I'm saying we, I think we had a good group at that point boys that were like listen you, you knew what was there and knew what was at stake but they could deliver, you know, Ferguson's and Mendes's and Davises and, and the team, you know, and Naismith. Maybe be up but for it, but I, you know, like, I don't know if you, like, you've you've heard Gary Neville on that talk on the overlap when they talk about Man City is they feel as if Man City is a team 
get to where they need to almost cost them but no cost them but then see when it's the business end of the season that's when they're their best they win every game whereas like uh, again, and, and that's you, why I, I just. And you can say it's experience. If you lose right? games, I just couldn't see that performance. Just mm-hmm. if you, really if you, and you could say it's the experience of being through it, but it's, it's just it's not it's the mentalities of the group. Mm-hmm. Obviously, being in it mm-hmm. helps you, but you still need to stand up and deliver in that big moment the next year or the next year, like, like Man City are doing it. Huh? But uh, we had a good group that year. Davy Weir at the back, like brilliant leader. We had a good, really good team. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got slaughtered last week for Rangers fans as well for the style of play shout, but watching that again, so it's, it's long ball, isn't it? A lot of time, you know what? It's no long ball. I don't mind it. I don't mind them going more direct because I think <clears throat> if you've got, I think the problem range of what sometimes they don't have the runners now. See, without Seema, there's nobody really. I mean, Dessers does it, but he's no particularly quick, mm-hmm. so he's not really getting like the benefits yet. But I don't mind them, them turning the game and then getting up and playing in, in the opposition half because it's not a long ball to do that. It's a long ball to try. If you've got a runner, you could be in. Mm. But they do. They're not scared to go direct. Look, they doesn't, and which I like as well that too many coaches get caught up and oh we need to we need yeah, to play the beautiful yeah, yeah. game because we think that's what everybody wants to see. Well, yeah. I think Clement is a winner. But was he not playing into Ross County's hand just like any cross is he putting? Well, I, I, I was just about to say that. But, but that, that that's like also that, that, that's also living, different. Eh? It's all, well, we did. He was he was absolutely standing by yeah. it. Like, he's blocking he was things like that block for Dessers in the, in the first half where he was actually down on the uh, floor, yeah. injured, and then he managed just to kind of throw his leg across and put it over for a corner. He, he was super, but I there's you can't do it all the time. Mm. I mean, I think the reason you'll be doing it is to just to plant the seed that look we're not going to keep playing in front of you all the time. But then you need to get your good players on the ball, and unfortunately, the good players never turn up yesterday. Well, I, that's what I was going to say. See, when it works the way he plays, it's relentless. Mm-hmm. In Ross County at Ibrooks, you flipped that fixture last month, relentless pressure for 90 minutes. But see, yesterday, Rangers never had any control of the game because no. they would turn, turn the ball over within five much. passes because yeah. they were trying to be direct. And this isn't an excuse at all because it was for every team up and down the country. But see, when the wind was the way it was, Rangers are trying to. Play balls in behind for, for runners that were getting blown up in the wind. Baldwin's just heading the back. Can't it, Dan just picking up and that's it. Rush County away again. But it was like, but that's I just also, never had to get as well. There was the a second phase of it as well though, but they never had any no. uh, which, uh, energy which, which was against. So even getting on the, so even dropping on that side. And that was ball, Celtic first half for me. That was the exact same as the old Firm game in the first half. Where Celtic were in the position to pick up second balls and and get that control of the game. Because you can't say you can't go down. I mean, Liverpool. When they had yeah, they Sani, yeah, no yeah. Sani, Mane, Salah, and uh, yeah. and Firmino yeah. or whatever, like they they would play. I mean, how many times you see Van Dijk hitting these long passes? So they're, they're, there's no long balls, it's long passes. But, but they also had that. But then they're up on the balls, and you've got Hendersons are up yeah. on it, or James Milner's up on it. There's guys that are up and like getting on the ball, and now you've got now you've got your control in that, in that half. And Barry's I felt was doing it. They were actually go ahead the ball at the halfway line, and he's just doing it. It was hopeful yesterday. Well. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah. the plan. You know, it was. It was hopeful. No, I say we need to give Ross County massive. Oh, mate, they were brilliant. They, they do look good under Don Kelly, don't they? Yeah, I think they've lost a home game yet. Especially at home, I they've done very, very well. Seems very calm, didn't he? He's a calm boy. He's a calm boy. He's no is he a calm boy, Ken? Is he, huh? He's a great lad. He's uh, and he's done well. Yeah, listen, that's the first time the club beat Rangers. Was it twenty-five games? Whatever it's been, an incredible achievement for them. And by the way, it gets them right back in the mix. Aye. Which they needed it. By the way, I mean, you're looking at that bit. St Johnston and even Aberdeen are looking at that game, thinking, "All right, well, they're not going to win that." So we're still well, all of a sudden they've won it. Point, point by St, St. Johnston. Johnston. Yeah. That's the one team I thought they could have reeled in anyway. With St mm-hmm. Johnston, so it's, uh, it's gave them a right chance. Of that. Do you think Derek Adam is sitting and watching that team? Still think they're shite? <laughs> Just showing and some of the football they played just was brilliant. Aye. Honestly, it really was. And it just was it was our mid the mid was it King? King, King? I thought he was super. Yeah, yeah, was good. I thought he was outstanding as well. Dan does a good Dan was brilliant. Good player, mate. Brilliant. Uh, good. Uh, uh, brilliant. Uh, 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 he was just great as well. You know what? Yeah, yeah, the three of them, the three three players were excellent. Simon Murray up top again. Doesn't he give a centre back a minute's piece? But by the way, he showed good quality as well. Yeah. And for the second goal, when he actually cuts in, that's a good, a good effort. A big it? safe for Jack Butland as well. And again, just switching off and allowing the tap in. You know, that was a, that was a massive moment in the game, that. And uh, again, Simon Murray was at the heart of it as well. So, but again, it's a counter. Mm-hmm. It's a counter in behind. You've got a willing runner, Yandanda puts it down. Simon Murray gets on it. And it's no suitor in uh, Golton's favourite thing is to defend balls down the side of the minor, is it? I think especially when they need to run about them half the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I but just see, the Rangers centre half, half Andy, the way we talk, should a Rangers centre half be able to defend 1v1 in this situation? 100%, but what I'm talking about is more the ability for Ross County to pick up every single second ball in the middle of the pitch yeah. to then attack. I, for me, that should never be that should never be the case. Yeah. You should be you should have Ross County penned in. Let's so, be what is that then? Is that your setup behind the ball when you're attacking? I got wrong. Yeah. 100%. 
Uh, again, and is that maybe because Dillo is a wee, a wee bit more attacking minded? Uh, but again, this is where I'm talking about Ross County in terms of a their actual quality when they had the ball. The amount of times yesterday where Jan Danda would go on the opposite side or wherever Ross County would win the ball back and then that guy showed the composure to look forward, play the pass and it was literally just turn and run at Rangers back four. Or then Simon Murray, Sims, whoever it may be, would run down the side and play that pass that you're talking about. But You'd love to know if Don Kelly worked on that, eh? Uh, for me, it like would it. be impossible for never just with with how how much it looked constructed and how many times it actually happened within the game. That's how you manage. You know what Derek Adams done? Open his big mouth. That's how you manage players. Well, have you got? A, would you have a message for Derek Adams right now? Come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at that windy there, and it's pissing down the rain again. Is this game against Dundee going to go ahead? See this no. weather, mate. It's sunny no one day. It's raining no the next. It's like getting your hole in, getting booted in the boys right after it, mate. I can't live in this. It's going to be on, though, isn't it? It's going to be on. It's going to be. It's going to be somewhere else. Not Dens. Not Dens. I heard the McDermott part might be getting used. Is it? I heard that. What was the three? Was it Aberdeen, St Johnston, or Hibs? Was even mentioned. I think that was the three, wasn't I think it? Yeah, the was, game played. Was mentioned again. Of Is VR, it? Yeah, wasn't it? The, the the stigma. If they could get VR introduced in time. Yeah. Who's that positive for me? Dundee or Rangers? That it's, they're going to be at a different pitch. I don't, any, I don't any want there's any positive. Energy? By the way, I don't want there's any positive to this whole scenario. I feel as if it should just be an absolute no go playing behind closed doors at a, a different venue because that's what I've heard. I've what, heard behind closed doors. Heard behind closed nah, doors. that's not right. No, that can't be right. That's what I've heard. Whether it's true or not. Where about what venue? McDermott Park. McDermott. I think it maybe suits. Dundee actually play some. I watched the McGeorge Islands against Ab Aberdeen. Dundee are a good team, mate. It's really good stuff players. again. Really good players. McCowan and Cameron, everything goes through the two yep. of them, doesn't it? McCowan's a good player. He's been their best player. Honestly, he's one of the guys. That he'll not be up for player of the year, but he's one of the, the top performers. Uh, in I think he'll be no far off team of the year. Uh, Whether maybe. he gets in it or no, probably no, but yep. I think he'll have enough votes where he'll maybe just miss it. Yep. It's mad where Rangers won it, and this is now they need to win this game, didn't they? Wednesday, aye, yeah, they need to win win. every game, yeah. yeah, every game. You can't even rely on Celtic going to had what is it, Willby Park. They probably need to go to and drop points, they need to win every game, which is now that's why I said before they could go to Celtic Park, get a draw. Chances are they could probably st still go and win the league now, they need to go and win. So, what's your Rangers team for Wednesday? What would you what, what, what do you think you'll go, and what would you go? You're not really. You need to get Sterling. Who's, who's back? Is you Tav, need to get Sterling. I, 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 back? I'll go Tav, Goldson, Balogun, Sterling. Take suit on it? Aye. Why? I just think they were better with Balogun and Goldson as a, as a, as a pairing. Oh, McCorson's went, uh, McCorson's went missing as well, hasn't he? Midfield he run. three. If Diamandi's back, Lundstrom, Diamandi. Campbell or Lawrence. Either or. Front three will be Dessers, Seema. Aye, maybe. Maybe. McCausland I'm, I'm just What's picturing I'm just Matondo. picturing Kamar Roof going around asking everyone for a thumb <laughs> 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 fucking hurt it <laughs> what's happening with Raskin by the way just, yeah. where is he he's got he's, he's got to be done you'd imagine because he's just why would that be he got left at the squad for the Celtic game and he's wow. no he's, he's, he's an unused sub for the last however many weeks aye right? few weeks what has he not got in a Rangers centre midfielder that come on looks for is it that physicality well, let's be honest, right? You know, I'm a fan of asking. He's he's not been he's not done well this year. He's not done what he done. I know he's last injured. He's injured as well. Would that, would that then be because maybe passed the ball more under Bill? And that is where we bit more direct. But see, see the thing is, though, you've got to, you've got to understand. We're saying that they're no against going direct, but by the way, they still pass the ball through their midfielders a lot, and they still got on the ball. It's not as if it's out shelled every single time. Yeah. I mean, even as much as they never controlled the game yesterday, they're still having to play through their midfield at times. I mean, there's still loads of connection. I mean, that double Lundstrom, for me to you, away they were passing the ball at some points. So there is times to go on the ball, but he's just not played well. Started, no. He never started the season well, then he, got sent, then he got injured, then there's a change of manager, then Diamandis came in in January, when he's probably been injured. But think... But what is going on? It's going to that aye. point where he's just not getting a sniff. You'd imagine the act of. Listen, things. I think there'll be a lot of changes at uh, Ibrox in the summer, to be honest. I just think that Clement will know exactly. Listen, he's done, he's worked wonders to get the group, uh, the group to where they're at now. But I think inside he'll know we, we probably need to improve the squad big time. You, if we really want to be successful. You said Dessers would come good and McCausland was one of the best. What, what's. Still standing by it. Aye. Concussion, I think I had that. Have <laughs> you got a six sub? Aye. Wait, 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 oh, we'll get to that. I couldn't oh, get to that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Three right. points off. Why do you think no. what, what, what's happened to McCausland? I don't know, because McCausland, when he came in and it was that Rangers were needing that winger for, that right winger for ages, years, Andy, you were saying that went to the and they signed a right winger and McCausland, they brought him in and that was the start of sort of Rangers' run. But I remember they played at Tynecastle um, and they were brilliant that night and he played on the right, he was very good. I think he maybe did dip a uh, wee bit of form um, but 
I'd like to see him back in. I really would. Um, but I, I honestly, I can't. We, we think going back to that Celtic Rangers, we're talking about if Rangers win this game, they go five points clear. But now we're saying they need to beat Dundee, Dundee to just keep themselves in it. Mm. Man, what would be a point strong. if they beat Dundee? Is that right? A point behind. Point. What, would, uh, what would your team be? What would be your strongest 11? Um, if everyone's fit. Mm -hmm. I don't know, mate. Honestly, I don't know. It's the top end of the pitch. It's, it's right. the toilet. Yeah, yeah. And the reason McCausland the record's been good under and, and the yeah. reason McCausland comes into the conversation, the reason he's came into the team this season is because he's probably been the best option to play on that right hand side. Because Rangers didn't have any wingers that have actually. I mean, you've said it's been years. It has been someone who's actually nailed that spot. I mean, it's. I mean, you had Ryan Kent on the other side for years when he was there, but so much criticism was thro thrown at him as well. So on the other side, it's always even now. You look at the front three. It's Silva who. He's not a nine. He's not a winger, is he? He's not really a winger no. because he's got. Again, is, a, is he creative enough to play in the ten and, and actually affect the game the way you need a ten to affect the game? I'm just not too sure. Like when you see the Rangers front line most weeks, you're thinking probably need strength in the Clock summer. It's been a big miss, isn't it? Left though. Team played all his best football in the left, now. That's what he no, got. He, his goals, it was productive. Right? It was productive. He was getting his goals. He's also no a winger. Goals. That's what I mean. So Ross McCausland is a winger. Winger, yeah. So yeah. you give him the ball, he can now go at his fullback. Seema's not that player. No. Seema needs to be served in behind in or attacking the box. That's the, and You're right with Cortez. I, I even forgot about him. He was great, yeah, by the way. He was he's he's really well in it. Do you forget really about him or not? No, no. He didn't, he didn't even mention him well. We were talking about it. <laughs> I forgot about him to be honest. Do you think there'll be a wee bit of needle in this game? There's a wee bit of needle between us. Do you know? That's why I asked. Do you know when I've seen that question, that's why I wanted to ask it to I you. You're the best, <laughs> I think you're the best person to call uh, call you it. I think I can just talk to managers. A wee needle. Don't let any of the needle get involved. How do you deal with the wee needle? That's two years now, Kerry. I've still been, I've still been seen. <laughs> By the way, I think... The wee needle, that, come I on. Think it, I, I, think it, I think it might be um, a wee bit of needle in this one because uh, they've called... Rangers have called Dundee unprofessional at it with the pitch. But see my players now, mate. I don't think players would think yeah, like that now, mate. No yeah. interest in that. No, I don't fuck. The biggest things between the clubs, it's not going to, not going to be any effect on the game. Even, even the Dundee manager saying that's not to do with me. Aye. Well, it's not I, I was going to say that. Do you know what gets lost in this? To be fair, and I probably got carried away last week because we played them. Like I feel sorry for the Dundee players. Yeah, more than anyone, they need yeah. to play in it every week. Yeah. Aye. Mm. Imagine playing on that every second week. Football players They're good well. football players, aye. So it's no ideal for them either. But again, I just really hope that. This behind closed doors. Can it happen? I hope that's just not happening. I see, really. if that gets put on Sky Sports News that a Scottish Premier League game is going to be played at a different venue. But yeah, it would be interesting to see if, just it, shut the if game they still had the game. Huh? If they, if they actually Sky took Sky the game. Should they do something there. brilliant like no, no hair ref for the game as well? <laughs> just go the full I'm fucking ball. I'm making me shit. Playing the same strips. Get clash for 90 minutes. Oh yeah, predictions for the game. Let's go. I think it's a win. But... 3-0 Do you think there'll be a, a proper response there? Yep. Paul? I think that, that performance for Ross County to me was worrying um, That's two wins in the last seven games Rangers I know that's mad isn't it? Obviously two games against Benfica in there but he, he even talked domestic two wins in the last five mm. yeah, I would, you, I would, Dundee never really get battered did they? 5-0 Rangers beat them right. Well done mate. And, and then <laughs> <laughs> that's what Rangers by the way could have been eight Sam Lammers <laughs> wonder strike <laughs> it was as well, well is that you right? set a record in the area of of scoring six his first six starts he scored in them first ever played to do it that's madness isn't it <laughs> I think he's players in the area of see football mate it's fucking mad isn't it is that true I'm not sure if it is he, sco he scored in his last I think he scored in his last five or six but wasn't his first what six a couple of minutes <laughs> <laughs> we'll just leave it's it not, to the top way. it's not, it's uh, not. Uh, edit uh, that but yeah. he is doing well he is doing well what would you what are you going predictions um, uh, you would do, oh, come on it's a Rangers win just get, get to it <laughs> no no you would <laughs> think Rangers win but obviously they've been playing I'll just go Rangers 2-1 I'm, I'm going to go 2-1 I think I'd buy a goal one off Rangers 1 3 up 3 up do you think it'll right. right. be comfortable there well we need to say Dundee what a season they've had top 6 under Tony Dock first year outstanding They're incredible job isn't it I, do you know what I didn't expect him to play as much as he did because like, as much as I love Dell as a manager I thought his teams were quite direct with I just presumed that Tony would go big strong but mm -hmm. the way he's done it I think they've played Crickman's been great some of the best football in the league do you know year. what I need as well I need to, just to go back to the segment to start the season with dark courses because I, I might be talking shape I'm sure I said Dundee and I said Kelly last year sure I did I need to go back to that I need to find that because it'd be a big shout if I said Dundee mm. I would never have put Dundee in the top six here, would you? No, I would never have. Yeah. I think I did, I know. How's he done it then? Tell us how he's done it. Because Hibs and Aberdeen have been poor. 
Yeah, I know he's done. He's done great because like he's went and you say they might know like, you didn't expect him to play football. But what he's got when he gets in, you'll he, think well, we've, we've actually got some really good yeah. players here, and they have recruited really, really well. So they've uh, there you go, well done, mate. <laughs> and he's uh, and the seasons went well, so they've built confidence. They've got results. They've, I mean, they've been right there all season. They had that wee blip actually that let Hibs back into it. Things when they lost to Hibs actually it just got Hibs back into the race. But they've been right there all season alongside St Mirren and uh, and Kilmarnock. So for the brilliant season, they've got really good players. And again, listen, I think they deserve to be in the top six as well. I think had Hibs just nicked it on that last game. I, don't, I think that would have been would have been hard done by. They have got a good mix in it with football players, and their physicality comes with a two centre backs to sit midfielder. They've got a very, both. very, very good spine to their team. Yeah. Centre halves, midfielders, strikers are have been consistently in the starting eleven when fit all season, and then you add into that own bet when being fit has been the best left back in the league probably. Mm. So uh, I, I'm gonna use it. Kelly for me have been the best recruited team 100%. in the league, and then Dundee have been set. Outside of McKellen, Cameron, and Beck, who else do you like with for Dundee? McGee is outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> he is my he scored last week and Absolutely, his name. This is where I hate the top six because now Mullow and Hibbs, what are they doing? This should be. The, the I know, but they've had twenty-seven games no, to get or twenty-eight no, games. I know, to but get I mean, I've got no, games to get I, I'm Waterloo. not saying it. For, I'm not sticking up for the. What I'm meaning as in for the product, the Ur League. We should be watching. This is exciting to see who's going to get the top six right up until the, the end of the season now. There's games going into the... When you go to the weekend, you're watching games going, for fuck's sake, they're not really playing for it now. And it's a waste of some games. I hate it. Well, the problem you've got is, is how many games would the league season be if you've never done that? You know, you've got to find a way to get that to that 38 games, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. otherwise you're playing each other four times. Four times, yeah. 44 games. Yeah, so it's just, it's just a game. Well, that would be... A, that, that's the complete change all over every league, though. You know, which probably would be... Add it for 12 teams in the league, league to six teams. Teams. Get eight up teams. <laughs> Jump up three leagues. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Would you go with that, the bigger league? Uh, oh, you go 14 teams, you get the 14th biggest budget in, in, the, <laughs> in the Lowlands, so you're right. <laughs> he doesn't like it to be, man. No, by the way, you've still got to go and win the league, mate. Well exactly done. Well can. done. 100%. Exactly, Ken. Uh, but we said three points, you've done this summer for a potential European fifth spot. Who do you fancy for it? And do any do Dundee any Dundee players get in the St Mirren team? Make now St Mirren by the way. Now there's no hubs, I would say now St Mirren I'll I'll go on and finish it off this year. Get the Aye. fifth spot. Uh, do you think you've played against them as well? Do you think St Mirren are that much better than Dundee? No. I, I don't. don't I don't, but I think I just think they'll again they've last year it looked like they got in the top six and it was all happy days we're in the top six and we'll shut off. I don't think they'll be there this year. And you know what, they've been there too long now. See if they don't get it. I think Stephen Robinson would be raging. They finished sixth again. I think he would. I think he would be really disappointed for where they've been all season if Dundee came and picked them into that. Well, it's funny because you were you were, you actually said to me, text me saying you're really disappointed with St Mirren on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> now say what you said at the start of the show. Go on. What did I say? Really uh, disappointed. Time wasted for you. No, but I can't remember. <laughs> no, and because <laughs> you like, said something were a disgrace in the first half. <laughs> no, no, Andy, come on to hell. What I said was. I didn't like the fact, listen, I'll, I'll tell you who was outstanding on Saturday. Gogic was absolutely magnificent. Is he getting Kelly's team? No. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. Uh, but he, do you know what? He, he was outstanding and outstanding as not just defensively, he was very aggressive in his end box winning challenges and putting his body in the line, but he was also joining in with the midfield. Almost like Franz Beckenbauer, you could. No, no. Beckenbauer trying to get the Kelly team. No, 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 no. I'm not saying God gets his Beckenbauer. What I'm saying is. By the way, I'm going to back you up, mate. I'll back you up, mate. It was unbelievable wow. stepping in. So, stepping see, in. like John Stones type thing. See, when the right back got the ball, he would then step ahead of the Celtic yeah. strikers, go right, and he would drive those times. I've seen the one he's got in the Hall of Sanya. He was superb, but. He was superb. Uh, he was a great bit of journalism punditry. Ah, it's magnificent. Journalism. Do you know what? Journalist, that's what he's going to call himself. The only thing I would say with something, and don't bite my head off, but what I. I think they lack that match winner or match winners. I don't think they've got a lot of creative players in their team. I have along with that. Fair. And that's why I feel where Kamarnock have. Dundee got, have got better. better Dundee have winners. got better. I think yep. Kamarnock have got better. And I think, listen, they deserve all the credit in the world since we're in for a fair team. But then we're dogged, is what they are like. Aye, they're more organised, right. they're more kind of hard to beat, they're more kind of. As a, as a unit, they're, they're a good, I mean, again, they've top six two years in a row, potential European football this year, so they've, they've done great, but you're right, they maybe just struggle for that pass, that bit of guile, of, like, to, like, to go and create things, but uh, no, but they've, they've, listen, they're a good team as, a, as a whole. Hibs and Motherwell miss it. How was the mid amongst the boys, Andy? How was the game? Was it a, was it a nervy game? It wasn't a good game. Was uh, it not? Nah. Did you tell it was... 
it wasn't it, see be honest though wasn't it it wasn't it dating the nerves I think the, the one definitely played its part but the first 66 up, up to Hibs scored it was a it wasn't a great game uh, and it, it was one of the games where you thought whoever scores the first goal is probably going to go go on to win it uh, but then obviously when we go 1-0 down we need to win the game draw wasn't good to us so we go 4-2-4 and then uh, Hibs will be disappointed that they don't then make the most of sort of easy counter-attacking opportunity to be honest because we are just chasing the game but then obviously you get the, the goal in the 94th minute and then to have an unbelievable chance to, to win it in the 96 but then What's obviously the it means it means <laughs> it means nothing when you find out that, that Dundee obviously draw was but it's it still the one on the game. radio on the bench with Peter somebody listening to the radio no no they knew because you see the reaction when uh, we missed a chance last minute all the boys are doing because you think just missed that chance to get top six, six uh, but they oh. knew they knew what the score was or who did you think was the standout players well? in the game for the, in the mother of the I'll tell you if you're I'll tell you if you're miles off or close the best player in the pitch Aye. Lennon Miller well, I was going to say the, I wouldn't really say anyone was the best player on the pitch but what did you like Miller? Nah. I'll, I'll always I'll always accept Lennon as a shout just he's playing through the lines it wasn't, it wasn't a great game it wasn't but, but by the way, it's a long shot these were going to get in the top. I know, so it's incredible aye. to get that win the week yeah. before just to keep it alive. Like it was always going to be a long shot that, that Dundee never got one point over the over the particularly against Aberdeen. And January, February, whatever it was, well, third bottom. Nah, nah, it's third bottom. I, I think it's acceptable for, for well. Motherwell just to miss out on top six. Like well, when that, you go, was it 17 games? Hibs, Hibs and Aberdeen. By the way, see if we're talking about in terms of budgets. That's what I'm saying. 100%. So it's like, Absolutely. See, I have a fighting chance of getting the top. I think it's a decent season for Motherwell. I, I think my dark horse to start the season was Motherwell. Was it? Uh, I thought they would have. I thought they could have done it this year. Why did you think that? Just so I thought the way they had finished. Right. And I thought if they then made a couple of improvements, I know they were going to lose Van Veen, but if they had got improvements to kind of make up for the goals that he got in the team, then I thought they were a chance. You're not far away. Obviously, you're, you're a kick of the ball almost away from being in the in, in the top six. But I didn't uh, Hibs and Aberdeen. Like Kettlewell and um, see you feel actually celebrated in the horseshoe bar after the delight. He <laughs> <laughs> bought <laughs> Absolutely. But Hibs away. and Aberdeen, holy fuck. Well, can I just ask Kenny? Do you think there's pressure on McGovern to keep his job because he's no made the top six? Aye. I seen I the day that I seen some in the day that somebody saying that he'll not be there next year. Is, is and listen, that wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me. I'm not saying he should. I think they should change them but it wouldn't surprise me if they did there's been new investment in there heavy investment that will be coming they need to decide if they believe he's the right man to take the club forward because all this really came in mid it came in after four league games mm. you know it's four league games you've had 29 games to this moment to accumulate the points to get top six and then push to get European football but if you go back a year Hibs actually only got into the top six I know this is not nothing to do with Montgomery last only game. got into the top six on the last game it was only because Livingston never won let Hibs go into the so top six and then they get into fifth and they get European football like, listen it's great but to have a similar season again and no really have moved it forward just miss it again they've just missed it but even if they just got in I'm still saying that's not enough uh, yeah. and I don't think it'll be enough for these new investors so it wouldn't surprise me if they did look at it and think you know what we, we, we don't believe because it's not about what he's done or what he's done for me they need to believe that he's the man to take the club forward and if they do fine go and roll with it and see how it goes but if they don't I wouldn't be waiting to see how this would start. If they, they've got to, it's up for them to decide. And you know, I think that's the discussions and and what they'll be deciding now, whether if, if he's going to be there next year or not. Seen a Hibs fan on Twitter saying he's desperate for them to go and get Derek McInnes. Would Dell go? That would be a question for the boys. You think? Would you say Dell would go? I don't. I don't think, think he would. He's built it. Come on, I don't. But get, then if these new, you, 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 if these new investors come in, then maybe he would. Oh, may I for the by, point that by all accounts they're going to be good investment as well. That's going to be their whoever is in charge, whether it be Montgomery or somebody else, they're going to be given every possible chance to then go and succeed. Whatever that looks like. Again, I mean, I what know. else can he do with Kelly? Well, Matt, going to go and finish third? I, I don't think so. Well, Matt, I'm there the plan? thought, uh, if Derek McInnes just keep, <clears throat> keeps doing what he's doing at Kilmarnock, then surely he's, his next ambition is doing Good England. Or, like so would, they, would, they then, yeah. would they then go to Hibs? For me, I'd be surprised if it did. It's still a state, Is that a bigger club? Yeah, I, I agree. Of course it is. And by the way, you might actually have you might begin. You might have three times a budget to go and actually and you do. Going up in it. Mm. Well, it's, listen, he's done a brilliant job with Kilmarnock. It may be surprising Aberdeen have no. Maybe again, if you're talking about bigger clubs in the league, again, he's always been there. But maybe even having a having a chat about it. Going, I've seen that mentioned that he could have been. He could have went back. But I think Hibs. If Hibs come calling for Derek McInnes, I think it'd be a hard one for him to knock back because, like I've said, I think everything goes up. You know the. The money you have available to go and get again, he's recruited brilliant with Kilmarnock. 
could he go and replicate that with more money and get better players? Because Hibs, let's be honest, Hibs, Hearts and Aberdeen, they all should be fighting for third, oh the yeah. way Rangers and Celtic compete for the league. That is effectively your, like your league. You know, and at this moment in time, I don't know what it is, 20 odd points that they're behind Hearts. Like, that's not good enough. Same for Aberdeen for that matter. Mm. You said that, <clears throat> you said to me when you were in Kilmarnock that it's one of the best team spirit you've seen wow. in a squad. I don't I, honestly. That's what Dale creates, isn't it? Because I think he's Aberdeen. Incredible, and I was speaking to the boys and they absolutely love it. Half the pitch are all very close as well, but just even just that vibe when you walk in there, you can tell how. That, that doesn't really make sense looking at somebody in the dressing room tells you how good they're on the pitch but you can just feel no. the way the atmosphere is in the dressing room you can see they love being there um, as you say the recruitment has been incredible and they're they're winning, they're winning you know so they've, they've, they've had success so it just builds confidence and belief I would love to see and I, I want to keep your best managers here but I would love to see Dale and doing improvement in England again because he didn't work the first time when he went down <clears> there for him and people maybe throw that at him I like to see him because he's a top manager, and I would love to see him doing there. Again. Do you know what they've built as well? A squad like I, I call it. Up, I, I call Marnock, mm. with all due respect, good Kilmarnock size in the past. I've probably got a strong eleven, maybe yeah. or a strong maybe 13, 13, 8, 14, or 11, or a strong yeah. thirteen, fourteen. They've actually got a very good squad throughout the pitch yeah. in terms of they get injuries in certain areas. Yeah, boys that are coming in that are. Proven at this level, done very Aye. well for Derek or And you know what, I think their owners as well have actually went and backed it as well since they've came back up. They've, they've probably have spent a wee bit more money, they've invested well in the team and what they've done is more often than not, that, that recruitment has been it's nailed on. Even if it's, I mean, when you see, I think you were saying a couple of weeks ago, Andy, sign Van Veen and Greg Stewart. My good, they, by the way, they can't get in the team. They can't play, no. get in the team Aye. because of how good Watkins has been or Armstrong or Kennedy or in, in Vassell they've been superb so they, these guys can't get in their team big signings that they made in, the, in January St Johnston did look like they had a cut of chance against Kelly the boy in front looks a handful I didn't mean, he never scored another fucking I know, but Kelly looked as if they had bundles of chance I mean, they could have eight looked like they could have eight I think Kelly Again, you're talking about Kilmarnock. Ah, so unbelievable, you had that, mate. Ah, Never yeah, knew that was a can of coke. <laughs> Never knew you were having a drink. Oh. Big red thing shining through the paper thin paper. <laughs> 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 you well, trying to get your old job back out of it the bottom two positions we talked about St Johnson uh, Ross County I don't think they'll be in it no. that's the thing mate, their home record see that, see that result like what that's done for the top of the table and the bottom of the table just the last five games it, it, it is the end of the for can, Aberdeen, it, can they still get pulled in yeah. I think Dundee are in the same position that Aberdeen are in now in terms of the points difference, when it? it went in the top six last year. It's a dangerous situation to be in because Slaney's just saying there about the... Look at there you go, boom. <laughs> they, might, they might think they've nothing to play for. By the way, and they've been poor all season. See if that level even drops again with Ross County, even St Johnston. We need to win, we need to get points. They could just get... Great I think point. the first fixture could be vital. Like if Ross County were to get a win, St Johnston gets something and Aberdeen were to lose. Imagine one of them are playing against each other. I mean, that's going to be a monster game to just drag Aberdeen back into it. So it's, it's, they're not out yet. I mean, it would be in incredible to say or think that Aberdeen could fall into that second bottom spot, but it's only five points. Yeah, you've seen teams top six or top six or bottom six no win games after the split. You know, if Aberdeen were to do that, they'd be in big trouble. Imagine this every I can't year. Can't see it by the way. Can't see it. Dad does the splits. He does the splits every year. That's <laughs> why I wanted to stop. <laughs> I can see it. We hang, hang. Well, in. that's why this game, uh, the, the Dundee Rangers game, needs to be on. Because they need to announce the, the, the fixtures. fixtures eh? Well, they can do it now, though, can't they? They can do the fixtures now because they're going to be in a so they can go through it. So we expect to hear that in the next kind of couple of days, I would imagine. Do you think Aberdeen will just go with Peter leaving at the end of the season? Or do you think, ah, think, think so, so, no, mate? They said, they said a month ago that they were close to appointing the manager. But then Bernard Langer had the Masters, didn't they? <laughs> put their appointment back. <laughs> <laughs> couple of Is that boy for Sweden, isn't it? Who says he's meant to be the most boring manager or something? Who says he's meant to be the most boring guy? Most boring person. Sweden. That was generally a journalist came out and said that the death of the headlines. You'll you'll never you'll never see it in sort of controversial. Right? And Johan Malby's face with him. So that tells you how boring he must be. Fuck me, he was a boring guy. <laughs> Coming as an assistant, isn't he? Huh? Is that his assistant? Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be a good story. <laughs> Big handsome draws back up in Scotland. Uh, yeah. But I think they should go and get a manager. Nah. They what? need that. They seem like they need that wee bit. Of I don't think they'll get it at noon. I think they'll wait till the end of the season. Uh. I think they definitely Dangerous looked better game. under Peter Leaven, but listen, it, was, it wasn't going to be that difficult uh, with how it went with, with Neil Warnock for that sort of six week period or whatever it was. But I, again, who knows? Cause I think it would be if they could. I don't know if there's things behind the scenes that are stopping it th through Ellsberg, maybe wanting him to stay or whatever. But if he could come now, I think it would be 
massive benefit to him and Aberdeen yeah, to get their new manager in and at least let him see a month of the, what the league is, let him see the opposition, let him get a feel for the place and then get him ready to prep. Coming in, listen, there's no doubt he'll be watching games now and he'll be, it's been being inside living it. Like you say, it's about command it, you go into a place and you feel the energy that's positive. He might get and think, well, this is this is no good. Yeah. We need to change this. And it probably will be that kind of thing, but you only get that when you're when you're in a building and you feel it, you feel the energy of people and, and how they're going about their business. So if well, they could like, get them in now, it would be a massive I boost actually, for them. I actually really like Aberdeen's team. Centre halves, I think, they're poor. I do think defensively they are the right back's outstanding, but the full I mean the centre halves are poor. But if I was a manager going in there, especially a manager that I know they've not appointed one, but would like to play. But who, who, so who, like, for like, me, Shinny's like, not, for me, Shinny's a combative midfield player. I don't think he's one that goes nuts to game the game again. But I like Clarks, I like Barron. Um, when Dundee, I look, Dundee look like, the three Dundee players in the middle of the pitch look miles better than them Saturday to me, mate. And again, I'm only going on a uh, highlight. You know what it is though, I, I agree with you because I, I absolutely agree with you. As, as footballers on paper, uh, they look like they've got a good squad. Mate, they're shot to pieces. You're right, Dundee, bye, that's, that was the game a few weeks ago as well. Dundee ran over the top of them that night as well. Absolutely ran over the top of them. So it's like McEwen and, and they're all playing at the top of the game. Cameron, Botang's been in there. They're, they're all the, at the top of the game. These boys are shot to pieces. Mm. By the way, they've been in the team. Warnock had them out the team. Mm. Now they're back into the team. You've got McGrath, you can throw him in there as well. You could have Shinny, Clarkson, McGrath ahead of them. You know, Povara's kind of been in there as well, playing as the attack when they've got good players. But they've got a good wide player. Listen, they're not playing well. Hoylet, Duke. Dukes obviously not been the same player this year, but that goes on what Duke. you're talking about in terms of a manager forward, getting Duke the best player, of him. No, no, I'm going to say so, no. But I, I just always find it funny when you hear, oh, I think Warnock said that, that Aberdeen needed a big overhaul in players. Like, you, you kidding on? But it's just a, a cop-out, really, isn't it? That's but the, what but the budget they're spending, are they getting somebody in that's better than Duke, Miofsky, Clarkson, McGrath? Are they getting boys in that's better than that for okay. three, four grand a week? Yeah, uh -huh. I'm not sure. Because for me, I, I, I agree. I, I think in terms of on paper, they've just not got the best. You know what they also know, Dan? You, you talk about Dundee, Kilmarnock, and St Mirren. They are three teams with way smaller budgets than an Aberdeen, for instance. They know exactly what they're doing. Every mm -hmm. single week, you could pick their team, you could yeah. pick their formation. You know, and it's been the same right through. They've had that kind of 12, 13, 14 players that they've, they could, they've probably been the starters for the majority of the season. Aberdeen have went back three, back four, because they're searching. They're searching, Duke's been in, Duke's been out, McGrath's been out, Clarkson's been out. They've been chopping and changing all over the place because by they've been searching for it and ultimately they've no found a way to play and they're getting nowhere near the best out of the individuals within that group. And that's why they keep chopping and changing. That's why they're, that's so why they're sitting, sitting ninth. You think they'll be safe, Paul? You'll be fine? I think they'll just be safe, I Just because just of Nicky? He will, I, but I think St John's will be that team. That'll be second bottom? Aye, second bottom. I think it'll be them out front of that. Right, put your sheets down, lads. Paul Slane's going to give us a run down in the set again for the first minute to 90. Take it away. Wait till you hear this. Oh, I better get it right. I was there. The boys not, the the not me this last night, it's incredible. I don't know if not eating time. What? Listen, I was at the game. Don't panic now and don't get no, nervous. No, no, no. This is your time. No, I just got to get back. I just got to get back. So I want, listen, the first half wasn't great. St. Mirren were actually played quite well, wasting a bit of time. I, I'm not a big fan of that. For me, listen. Have your, have your say if you want but I'm not a big fan I'm there to win a game no matter who I play against <laughs> um, but the, the tactical the tactical bit I'll give you why it wasn't working was every time Kuhn got the ball or Yang got the ball they're c t coming inside that's where Austin Marin's bodies are you see Selick setting goal Johnson and outside whipping that ball in very hard to defend against so f that's what was they're lacking in the first half they were coming into all their bodies Tati gets a one the goal in the second half and then Celtic just, Celtic were outstanding um, in, the, in the second half. Was, so what changed second half, sorry, putting more crosses in for wider areas? <laughs> goals changes games. Get in the mixer. <laughs> just get in the mixer. Goals change. Take Yogo. Goals <laughs> changes games. Goals changes games. So the tatty scores. Would you, would you see in this situation, would you like to switch so Kuhn's going on the outside where the space is? No, I just think when, when you get to fire that, I would like to see that overlap really quick. Johnson obviously does it for the second goal. Um, but again as well, when Kuhn, they didn't have better quality when they're coming in. Kuhn's final ball and Yang's final ball isn't good enough. And on Saturday, it just wasn't um, anywhere near good enough. What's your thoughts on an eight running on uh, the outside? Listen, however you want it, eight, two, whoever. An overlapping eight should be 
banned for football. Do you not like it, man? No. Uh, running out wide, oh. isn't it? No, running out wide. Why is your number eight? Why is your number eight overlap? But if they, but if they, what, I'm saying, if they're, I'm playing, if they're playing narrow, I, don't know, I like the uh, I'm I'm saying, if they're coming narrow, that space isn't there for the eight to run in, is it? Well, then it's your, your fullback. Your fullback. I'm, no, just, no, I'm, no, I'm, uh, I'm just asking if you've got <laughs> the eight going in there. Nah, nah. Shot, shot to pieces, that was that eight overlapping run. Absolutely shot down in flames. So is that what Johnson obviously does that for the second goal, doesn't it? Brilliant, but ninety-five some delivery. Ninety-five. That's a great delivery. No, brilliant. Do you, you see that great delivery and brilliant? Ninety-five percent of fans watching that, used to included, will see the delivery. I take it back to Tati with the throw in down at Celtics eight and half. I ain't never seen that. Did you know? It wasn't in the highlights. Oh, was it not? So the the throw in, he throws it to Tati, and it's deep in Celtics half, and he just I just reverses it and takes with three or four St. Mirren bodies out, and then so he shells it in the channel. <laughs> No, no, he, no, he, he, he put it to the other <laughs> centre half, to the, the right centre half. Seen him there a lot of times, man. Because exactly I thought he was just going to bounce it back, but some men are set up in their shape. Dummies it and runs and across then his body. Goes across and then it opens up for uh, Johnson again, and it was brilliant. And Hattati. Is he a stand up, Paul? Uh, he's brilliant, mate, isn't he? Yeah. He's the real deal. Yep. Aye. 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 Where did you take for the game, mate? Because you were there as well. Aye. I thought, uh, aye, you've pretty much nailed it, mate. Brilliant. First half is poor. Second half, goals change games, mate. There you go. Get the goal. If the whole thing changes, could have been four or five at the end. But that is the thing. So Mirren done well first half, though. By the way, they done well. But what they needed to Gogic was superb. They had opportunities as well. Kelty probably should score. They had another. Oh, Sanya. All the Sanya. But uh, there was another chance. By there was one more chance that came in the the first half because all the Sanya was a tough one. He's kind of he's wide. But there was another chance. uh, was it a header? Maybe a header? Anyway, I don't know. There two or three good opportunities. Uh, but they, they still wanted to defend a lot. Celtic had a lot of the control. I, mean, I think they were up at 74% even in the first half mm. of possession. So they were, but they just wanted to do anything with it. Mm-hmm. Here's you a know. question for you. Adam, either six million, could you take him? Yes or no? We spoke about Bernardo last week. No, you can't take him for six million to be a second choice striker. No. Can't do it. Do you not think he's good enough to become the first choice striker now? He's never playing ahead of Kyogo. No. Right, by the way, I think he's done really good and I like him. I think, you see, last week in the Old Firm game, Rangers came at the second half, were, I mean, were poor in the first half, so they were really good. But Rangers went aggressive in the second half and went right on top of them. And you could see they were looking for, but they were, but we're hitting up to Kyogo here. Aye. Straight away, Brendan was like, right, you, Adam, on you go, Kyogo, off you come. And they went, and they were getting a bit of success with it. Yeah, By the way, to the extent, Philippe Clement took Golton off. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the game and maybe could have done it earlier because Ida was getting a bit of joy but, but as that, soon as he seen that he thought you know what I'm going to go a wee bit more direct but I, I don't mind it because you're on man. miss it out go and support it and yeah, go and play it he 100% does. he does but so. is that not O for me? I, like, and I'm not saying that I'm not saying for a minute that I think O's better than Adam Eder but you're, you're spending 6 million to replace Adam Eder that's why you're not that's why you're not doing it he obviously that, doesn't can fancy O at all does he? no I think O's looked all right, to be honest with you. Listen, I, I very, he's very not, limited. He's number two, he's no, yeah. he's no, he's no yeah, number one. Kyogo, but yeah. Very limited game time as well, and even more so now that he does been in the building, but he's, uh, aye, I'd, you can't spend six million pounds on a backup striker. Do you want seven, uh, seven and nine? Either? Is that yeah, right? Seven and nine, I think he's I would like to, I would like to uh, bring him in, but again... It's the question would be, if Kyogo yeah. went, would you then go and do it? Could he be your, your number one? Could he be your main number nine? If he's went. looked really good I think since coming in as you said but 6 million is a lot I would but like to quick. bring him in but I don't he's know he's quick and powerful oh, yeah. and he's big yeah I never actually uh, realised how big he was he's seen that actually for the goal mm-hmm. is it the second or the third goal where he's, I think it was the third goal where he's actually in a leg race and he just gets there he bullies the guy gets it it was, it was the, the third the third goal and then it was a for, he like it was a 4v1 aye. he was the one that got there again he was second favourite to get there pace got him there power yeah, got yeah, in yeah, bumped the centre back then it was laid to James e. Forrest and he went through he has changed a lot of games in the Motherwell game I was at, he, he brought him on at half time he changed, changed that game. the game didn't he he was really good he he's came out and scored uh, two v hips yep. the he and, and he's, he scored really important goals for Celtic even it, V Rangers last week he, he goes listen I think he's done great and I think he brings something different to the team I don't think you can spend 6 million quid to be your second choice striker, two, yeah. I think you need to be six million well, pounds signing for Rangers Celtic. You, you need to improve you your, get your team. Something decent out there for less than six million. Well, Kyogo. What was Kyogo? Yeah, but that was that market. When I, I think yeah, they'll go back market. to that. Well. Listen, I think I think Shanklin will still come to the conversations for both Rangers and Celtic in the in the in the summer. Think you'd get Shanklin for less than six million? Quid? Oh, easy. Scott, you're left. How much contact. would you get for Rangers? Had to sign him. I mean, see if Rangers signed him, they'd be right up with now. Like. Oh, even yesterday I was sitting there thinking that. Listen, obviously it needs to be. Sh- Shank was a joke yesterday, by the way. Aye. 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 Again, I only watched highlights, but yep. it was a joke. What a football player, man. Touch, vision, awareness, assists, goals. Well, he's part of all four goals. Yeah. Mm. Two, uh, the first two goals is obviously the cutback. The third one is we outside of the corner. Incredible, yeah. The corner yep. that, that gets the penalty. 
for me, he's absolute nailed on player of the year. This has been a standout for Celtic Rangers this year. Isn't it? Oh, the year you O'Reilly the first six months. Uh, no, and then, go through the uh, same season. See, for Tav not to get it when he's sitting, what is he sitting behind Shankland? So you're talking about Shankland's got 21, 22 league goals, 21. 15, no, he's got more now. 16 or 17, he's got. He's four or five goals behind Shankland. I th for me, Shankland is. He is. I think Tav is would be. I was be very, very unlucky not to get it. Based, I think I know. But you've had your forms this week. Has it been filled aye, in this aye. week? So it comes in at this time. So I think. Shank you imagine, imagine James Tavernier for fullback wins the league, wins the league cup, and has twenty five goals for fullback. But that, you don't get played of the year. That's the issue. I fell in at the form early. No, six aye. games to go. And, by, I, I, and the manager, right the manager one's a crazy aye. one. My aye. argument aye. right now yeah. is. Where would Parts be with Long Shank on this Aye. season? Whereas if I say where would Rangers be with Tav, it'd be, be second. Do you know what I mean? Uh, where, where they currently are? Aye, probably so 15 it. points back, though, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, yeah, so yes, they would be. Them that voted for your pal every year. Oh, 100%. Uh, it's a waste. I don't know. Aye, but see, um, what was I going to Do you want me to tell you what I wrote for my team of the year? Oh, no, we did a wee thingy that I wait. No, I tell it exactly oh, before the end of the year. Who'd you put go? Well, I wait. No, I tell it now. But you can see. You can see what you've put for that, and then it might, might change by. Uh, Are you changing? So because one of them, one of them caused a massive debate, and I have no use well to like it straight away. Right. He's the best centre half in the league for me, but I never put Carter Vickers in it because when can I found out no the top, games. we fourteen games. So how yeah. can I put him in my team of the year? I don't mind that. I don't but mind that. But I've got to be an Andy. Fat best best centre half in the league. So I went Butland, Tav, Golds and Suter. Bad. Butland, Tav, Frankie Kent, Lewis Mayo. Uh, I went Alex Cochran purely because Owen Beck's missed he's played part. two games since yeah. January my midfield three was O'Reilly Luke McEwen and Lundstrom and my front three was Miofsky Shankland Danny Armstrong not bad solid eye solid team when I, th I, don't th I think Luke McEwen people would disagree with me but I no, think he should definitely have been I think Luke McEwen well, well who's the alternative McGregor Carl McGregor like he is the main one Aye Carl McGregor's not on it Again he, he's one of the ones though Carl McGregor's probably going to be a victim of how good he's been for the last I was just going to say years. he's, he's, I mean? he's not at that, that level nah, yeah. so maybe that's why should he have been there probably but I, I okay, found it very hard not to put Luke McEwen in <laughs> Snoozing a Coca-Cola mate honestly <laughs> Caffeine right up through the roof <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, <laughs> this might be a question that I'm, this might be stupid because I don't know if the answer is obvious when was the last time somebody won player of the year that wasn't the Celtic or Rangers? If Shankland does win it this season? Great question. Mate. No, I wouldn't. I don't think it Oh, that long was it all? Charles, Charles, Charles Cook no win it that year with Ross County. Did he? Did Charles Cook win player of the year? Are you checking that for me, please? Charles Cook never won player nah, of the year. He was nominated, I don't think he won it. Craig Gordon no won it. He, he won it two years ago. Aye, Craig Gordon. Player of the year? He won the uh, Masters. Oh, was it all the sports writers? Was it all the sports writers? Are Masters you talking about players player of the year? Master Benton. Are you talking about players player of the year? No, the. Aye. PFA. A PFA. Aye. Oh, players put the year. Man, you won the tuxedo. Did you wear that? No, I never went. Van Veen? No, I never went. Oh, I never. Did you, did he was a big boy that got arrested on Higdon, wasn't it, for his mother? Yeah, he, he won. He, he won, won, won player of the year. That was years ago. He, 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 he might be the last one. He might be the last one. Higdon's the last one. Wow. What year was that? Higdon won the last one. won PFA for the year outside Craig Gordon got, must have been the sports writers uh, wow. that's incredible isn't it what a question go on then give us the last ones who was that <laughs> who's the last ones we've heard Carl McGregor Carl McGregor uh, Hanson there you go aye wow oh, that's Michael Pentland by the way Instagram <laughs> <laughs> I've a wee look check of it that's mental by did you watch uh, the UFC I did unreal mate. amazing unreal. Unreal. I just turned that into a UFC podcast aye I can't I'm out yeah. what I'm would out. you ask what question would you ask it's one of the best fights I've ever seen there what is he doing though get you doing it just go away just getting, from just getting just getting well run. done well just that's run. why that's why it's called the BMF belt mate because they need aye. to prove that that's what they are and that's why they stood in the middle of the ring exchange and they got cleaned out in the last second of the last fight last second knocked out eating the can. is that your podcast done or that's it done that was brilliant is there a bit of need on that <laughs> Phil, it's a wee man, it's a wee man there. Get a bit excited there. <laughs> um, he does it for the season. What a miss for say like that, is it? Huge miss. Yeah. I think, listen, they'll still win probably every other game. By the way, they might win all their games. But I think it's more a massive loss looking forward to Celtic Park, keeping James Tavernier going back that way. And again, that probably Rangers will need to win. 100%. Because he keeps them quiet again, because he's got, he's in the mind, he's need, he needs to run behind, mm -hmm. he's got his pace, he's got his pressing. Again, going back, 
I don't think there's anybody who'll be able to track him the way Trapped yeah. have, the way that Maeda does. So we'll be a lost in that. Uh, I've been the surprise. Yeah. Kyogo go left wing and need that up front. Because Rangers are going to come after him again, aren't they? Kyogo Could Kyogo not do that sort of running that oh, Maeda did, you know, yeah. ain't they? No, no, no kills kills him. Him. he's aggressive. Kills him going the other way. Yeah, yeah, and actually well. winning the ball back. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What it's made us not just pressing, he's actually Power affecting the ball and winning it back. That's a massive That's a big big miss. But I tell you what, it's mad that we just spoke about Selix at Murn. Even though they're going to get deducted the three points for making six subs. Well, so, yeah. okay so see that? See, because you get concussion a lot, <laughs> we're going to bring a sub to stand behind that curtain <laughs> and anytime you get. <laughs> <laughs> me, he said to me in the coupe, show me will just replace me with Bobby Madden. Because <laughs> your last week, every, <laughs> every answer I just said, Bobby Madden said this. Um, but but I said, have you heard of that rule before? I'd never heard no, of that. No, so see, I'll t- I was, when I was sitting there, all the Celtic fans are screaming at Rogers and Kennedy going, you can't make the sub. Don't bring him on! Mate, that's what they're doing. So Kennedy's turning and started laughing and was like, it's but a it was not the day with the text sub, it was because it was Jamesy that was coming on. <laughs> 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 fucking cut. Rubbish. Oh, fucking God, rubbish. Jamesy, I, love him. I must say, I was, I was going on a uh, kind of open all mics duty and it was, I did get a bit excited. Did you? Thinking, oh, what's happening here? <laughs> and it came through, there's been a concussion, has there been a concussion sub? I went, no, not He's at all. He's texting Doncaster, isn't he? Not at Just checking the cell again. <laughs> and then it was explained to me because it was, it was Bilomo what went off with a head knock in the first half. I don't Which gives both teams, teams both teams. Both teams, both teams get an extra I don't sub get just that. because it, it's not One's fair that one gets it. That must be aye. But that's not right. Celtic having to get a concussion. And I'm not just saying, I'm not meaning that game, meaning any game. Shouldn't it be the both teams? It should be the team who has... Stephen Robinson will only want to make six subs. <laughs> Celtic will love to make six subs. <laughs> would, you like, uh, would you like it to go back to three subs, just in general? Nah, I think it's no. better for keeping players five happy, mate. But see, yeah, I also get, think we'll five subs. We'll get another money, like. <laughs> oh, that was the best, mate. <laughs> well, not going to hate that, wouldn't they? Right. My big thing with five subs is that I, I thought it would, would then see an upturn in young academy players making appearances. I don't know if that's turned out that way, to be honest with you. It seems, if we're, to see it seems as if clubs are just making their squads bigger. To fill up with my first team players. That's why I wanted five subs in the first place. But do you remember back in the day, you would have had it probably? Under 21 now. Under 21 now. And that I was only that's three subs came on. See if you've got nine in the bench with five subs. I really benefited from that. That rule got me a flat in Hamilton, mate. <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, that rule nah, that, that, that rule needs to come back. There were so many diddies, mate. There were so many diddies. <laughs> what a time I had to do this. Honestly, the diddies at me see like bench. It came in 99. Bench of all year, mate. 99, 2000 it was, I'm sure it came in. One bonus. And uh that was my kind of breakthrough year at Hibs and I was always going to be on the bench and then going to Rangers I was still an under 21 so I was always going to be Why did they get rid of that rule? I don't know Guys like him making the door uh, I think it was uh, It's I called the ferry law The ferry <laughs> 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 totally rinsed it, man. But Celtic, there was a stat, and it, maybe it says every year, but there was a stat yesterday that Celtic have scored like 20 subs I, in the last sort of 15 minutes. So, is it unfair in teams in Scotland that Celtic Rangers have got much bigger budget, have got much bigger squads, they can make these five subs than the other teams? Well, haven't they got see, under Ange, the amount of times they won games because he brought fucking five well, subs in un- 70 minutes. Is it unfair then in Scotland that the five sub rules are a rule? I've, well, I'm not a part of the or Celtic, and I still think I, I, I'd like the five yeah. subs. Because a quadruple sub by the way at Celtic Park there's a quadruple four subs see when you're see when you're the six and seven subs and they've made five and you're still not getting on you're like what fucking (laughs) (laughs) see there was only three getting on there was four of you why is it not seven subs (laughs) by the way (laughs) by the way it's you and the goalie it's you and the goalie (laughs) it's just you and the goalie it's just you and it imagine he puts the goalie on it for you concussion right the goalie getting ready bring back the under 21 for the bench for me thanks so much I'd love to see that where were you when that rule was in point you were obviously that was Hibs that was my that was my breakout year at Hibs and that got you on the bench? Right. Listen, oh. I might have been on the bench anyway, but you just never know. Yeah. There had to be two in the match day squad. So I was probably the furthest ahead of the, of the younger players at that time, so I was happy days. And I would say back then there was more young players coming through now. Aye, that had to play the part in it. Because even that came at Celtic, like, Celtic were bringing through loads of players at that yeah. time, eh? Yeah. Like Maloney came through at that time with that rule, McGeady, John Kennedy at that time, BT Boy, your mate. There's loads of young players in the in the squad, eh? Well, that's why I'd be interested to see since the five sub rules. Has there been more academy players or young players getting appearances? The thing is, if you I'd look through it, yeah, look at you, look at your club. What well, you've got, Lennon Muller, who will be in the match day squad every every week, if, as long as he's fit. Is there anybody else? Well, in terms yeah, of made appearances, Dylan Wells has played, Luca Ross has played, Matt Ferry's played, Lennon's played. That's four academy players straight yeah. away. They're all eighteen or under, mm-hmm. and that's no be the rule. Again, it, it just guarantees two of them on the bench yep. all the time. So did that rule get you on, or were you, was it no, that away by then? So just, just based on ability. Once, once. 
Alan Lawrence. <laughs> How many times are you on the bench? No, just know that game that you played. How many times are you on the bench? Won it. I, lost. I was on the bench for Benfica Champions League. Um, and a couple of, uh, a couple of other league games. But I don't like the rule, do you, but the 21 rule. And it's not about no bringing Scottish boy through. I think you should be there on merit, not because... Stratton used to say it all the time. No, listen, I, I actually agree with that as well, to be honest with you. I do, but... Yeah. Like you would surely you've got if, if you're doing your job right and your academy is operating properly, surely there's going to be two players running about That's 19, 20 year old that. that are ready to be involved. And you I, know, so you're not just getting thrown in there for the sake of it. You're actually floating about the the, the first team already. Mm -hmm. If you're no, and you're just like, by the way, who we put on the bench this week because we need to get two on here, and you're now scrambling about your academy to find two players. Yeah, then you know that he's quite funny. Get a fairy, get a fairy, get a jokes on the bench. <laughs> he's trying to grow that mouse up. Let's get him in. <laughs> I would also say though, first team players need to be their own merit. Nah, it's spot on. Right, absolutely. First team players at clubs probably shouldn't be in squads that they're in. So get these boys in. See when you were on the bench at Celtic. Did you clock where your dad was sitting every time? Aye, did he sit in the same seat? Aye, would you yeah. turn? Aye, but he was up with that, but you, you'd always see him as soon as that final sub, you'd see him gone. Just clock the road. Meet <laughs> 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 we'll the traffic, innit? There's no point, I'll meet the traffic. <laughs> right, uh, last week, but lads, semi finals take place. Wow. Uh, can you see any other in a Celtic Rangers fine? Or, no, uh, no nah. chance. No, the Hearts were Rangers nah. after. Nah, can't see it. But a game on when? If there's a game I on think uh, that'll be the closer one. Or there's more likely to be arts, but I just don't think it'll I don't think it'll happen. I think you'll be looking at an old firm cup final come May. I always think with the semis as well, it's like, would I be surprised that, for example, Rangers and Hearts finish one each? No, I wouldn't. But then extra time, 30 minutes. Mm. You just you always fancy Rangers and Celtic to go through in these games. I would be I I can't see anybody Rangers and Celtic final. You actually prefer a semi to the final, don't you? 100%. 100%. <laughs> uh, um, Can you see anything other than Celtic and Rangers? You know, I would, I would have said that, I mean, I set Celtic and Rangers, but just recently, obviously, Rangers form and Hearts are playing well. They are. They are playing well. So, you know, that's the, probably the game that might throw up a wee spanner on the works. Mary, he's going to go at it? I'll, I'll be there, yep. Working? You working? Yep. I'll be there oh. Sunday. No, just Rangers Hearts. Wait, where are you going to go for it? I've just been a gaff. Who's <laughs> gaff? Mine. Are you on your own? Who's? I know, but I just myself just watching the outside. Just you holding the wee needle. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I love this time of the season. Amazing. I don't like watching games with people. Uh, they, they, you can't, Unless I'm you, there. You don't take it in. No, I, totally I, I would never it. go to somebody's house to watch a game of football. Never. But I carry it, would you not? No, never. I oh, I hate it. I like that. Some people talk to you during the game. You didn't watch a game of high. Just That's some, what some, of shouts, right? some of the shouts <coughs> you hear from people are brutal. Oh, and it, honestly. The, the shouts of the refs, mate, the Damien. Aye. Check what school he went to. But even like, but even if like, you watch it with your dad or something. Always ends up naked, doesn't it? Play him, he's got a bit of dig about him. Ah, the dig's got a bit of dig. He knows what it means. He's got a dig. He's got a bit of dig. He knows what it means, tell him that one. He knows what it means. I'm not selling supporters in that team. Kenny, what's happening? Are you wanting to get back in? Oh, I desperately. Is it number one or number two? Either, mate. Either. Either. Just want to get back involved in a group, innit? Do you think this will be the summer it's funny, mate? Not at all. Well, East Kilbride have trimmed our course. Oh, we all get sacked. 25 <laughs> into 23, so there's, yeah. two, there's two spaces. <laughs> Kenny, um, without saying clubs, have you put your name in for that? No. 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 Just wait for them to approach you. Would you if someone comes up? If the right thing was there, I would, I. Listen, if you, if you want to go for it, you need to go for it. You know, you can't just be hanging with that, because that'll no harm, by the way. The phone will no ring. You Actually, need to you then go, you then. need to go for it. You know, you need to be ahead of what's going on and you need to kind of go make your play for it and hopefully, again, by hopefully get a chance to get in front of somebody. You know, just get the job, get a, just get a chance get to speak to them about the job. Eh? So, uh, aye. Would definitely. you go abroad, Kenny, now? Aye. You would, mate? Yeah. Huh? You can't pick and choose where you go, go for a job. Eh? Is that definitely what you ought to do, be a manager, mate? Huh? Manager or be involved with a, or not somebody else, or be his assistant, be his coach. Absolutely. Mm. Kenny, would you ever go and... Would you ever go into like knowing a cat like say an under 18s or Celtic or Rangers and then kind of work your way through? Would you? Aye? If it was the right academy, aye. yeah. I think we need more guys like him yep. in academies, mate. To do one hundred. On another, uh, on another, another I might, I might come so. along train me school for a couple of nights by because I've got a game for me Craig Brown and uh, come up any time, mate. Hundred percent. Uh, June the second is a week and a memorial game for him. I need to get myself back in the action, so I might need a wee bit. Of, Facilities and you put oh, any time you yeah. can come up, mate. We'd love to hear. They always seen you were outstanding in that Queen of the South game. I Go took that uh, match ball, mate. And up the road with the match ball. Did you take the match ball, did you? No, I never. No, you should have thought. Uh -huh. Yeah, remember, remember, we did uh, one of the best things we've ever done in the podcast. Remember, we did the, the, the SPL 
best ever team and you can only have one that was for each nation. That was we should leave that with Kenny. I want to hear Kenny's for that. Brilliant. You can think about that for the next time. Probably yeah, be one player for each team. No, and one player for each nation. Nation ahead. From, from... So, at the from SPL. What, SPL, so what was in the wind? That's that. 2000... No, 90... Well, 99 it was then. Is that, is that right? Nine. Because it's changed again for a few years back, didn't it? But 99... Quick question, sorry. But it was on the sheet from the uh, about my Dan Tavernier, the rivalry between the two players. You ever have a player that you were you played against that you would always... Brilliant. Have a wee bit of needle with... Mm. That word's going to get banned for this show. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really think of any centre back ever. Never, nah, no, no, no. Nah. No, I'll tell you. you what, guys I'll, I'll, I'll tell you well, other, we did, right? we, we did. Because I played against guys when he was at Coventry as well. When I was at when I was at Wolves, he absolutely mashed me did in one of the games. Only a young boy as well. Uh, but I, when I played against, I knew they were good mates. With it. But I'll tell you, I had a good story with uh, Big Gordon Greer. He was playing. He was at Kilmarnock at the time, and he was uh, sorry. I played against him at Kilmarnock, right? And he's, uh, I can't remember, we're, we're probably beating him. And he was, we're having a wee bit of verbals back and forth. And I was like, Gordy, you're shite, you just need to shut up. He went, I know him. And I went, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we're in agreement then, we're, just, we're both saying you're shite. So anyway, fast forward a few years, I'm playing against Big Gordy, he's at Brighton and I'm at Cardiff. And Brighton were just at the oh, start right. of their time, right? Popping up about. So we were playing, Big Malky was the manager. We were just, just soft them, they play stuff. So I'm up there on my own. Gordon Greer's putting his foot on the ball and I'm like, that's oh my come God, on. this guy. <laughs> and he's going, come on. I'm like, no, I've got to stay in my zone. And eventually, <laughs> eventually I go and he just pops, pops him past again. me and he's like, ah, who's shite now? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Gordon was my right. captain, he's been a great guy. Brilliant player as well, by the way. Really good player. Really good player. Hanging the ball with two feet yeah. in that. He, he actually surprised yeah. how good he was, eh? I was actually raging that day. I'm sitting off them and I've just had an argument with this guy two seasons before that and he's just taking the piss, just foot on the ball waiting for me to come and chase like a dafty. Uh -huh. Gordy's one of the guys, nicest guy for pitch, mate. I've never seen somebody so angry in training and games, mate. No? Oh, I'm talking... I wouldn't expect balls, that. Mate, uh -huh. Gordy was he was actually played that game. He played in Dobbs' testimony as well. Did Gordy played, didn't he? Handsome big guy yeah. as well, isn't he? Still, still playing, yeah, he can move well. I mean, he's what a role he's got now. Yeah. But oh, he's got a Brighton. The yeah, dream job, mate. For choice keeper and the loans manager for any club. It's the <laughs> dream the loans, job. He's just wonder about asking how the loans get on. Is that what it is? I think they will watch them. They will watch the game and, and help them yeah, develop. Report. You know, but my. But then that was David Weir's job. David Weir's now been bumped up since the guy left to go to Chelsea. Oh, he's then, he's left. Aye, he's just been bump, bump, bump all the way up. But he's still wiping his ass back to front. Aye, front to back. Sorry, <laughs> Andy. What about you? <laughs> Rivalries on the pitch. Nah. But uh, again, but that's what I was going to say. Brenny, 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 people will point to stuff like that, but for me, that was just. just I've, I've had that with hundreds of players. Obviously, being an old firm, it's just a bit more. Uh, obviously, there's way more eyes on it, but nah. I don't. Uh, I can honestly say I've never. I wouldn't say I, I dislike anyone I've ever played against. I don't care. Do you know what I mean? If he's, see, both of these here with, with Rangers and Celtic, did you ever. Was there ever a rivalry way two players? But that you played with somebody and they had a rivalry with a Celtic player? Good question. That's a good question, but it's, it's tough to get back to you on that. Because <clears throat> there will be, definitely, I'm Thompson sure. And ben, Thompson and Rexham, and Rexham was brilliant, 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 mate. That was a daisy. Was but were they no mates? They lived next to each other, but no, they were hated each other, mate. Oh, Rexham put fireworks through your letterbox, didn't he? Did I they? thought they were like mates, but then... <laughs> sure he did, some of that, nah. <laughs> You got a weekender for that these days. <laughs> did he not do some of that? There was some I remember there was a story about that. that. I was there a was some of that. that. I remember I'm sure, I'm sure Fergie would have, would have had a few... Lenny. Maybe there'd be Lenny. Aye, Fergie right. get sent half of me at Parky with the skinhead. Aye. 6-2 game, man. Aye. Who else? I'm trying to think. Do you remember Alan McCormick? This is... So far below. Remember Al McCormick playing oh, yeah. there? Oh, I hated him. We used to play again and then he signed first one. But see, up until that point, I mean, hated each other, mate. On say? the pitch, fucking hated each other. And then he signed to end up being a good guy, so. But it's my. Then you so certain people that you fucking can't stand, mate. No, there's definitely. There, I said there's, I've never played against somebody I, I hate, but there's definitely boys on the pitch you think you're just a fucking man, honestly. <laughs> Uh, what I, is it the day I remember I remember when we played uh, who did we play in the championship year what was his name it's been done in England done really well and he was the mouthiest guy in the world Falkirk remember what I'm talking about no centre midfielder Jay Fulton no we done in England he's, he's done really well but oh, he was so mouthy at Falkirk it was incredible oh I know who you're talking about midfield player fair here Aye. captain you say somersaults he scored the goals, goals he used to score goals for distance what was his name I can see he's gone he went to, he went to Will Volks Will Volks Will Volks he's a chef way that's the way mouthy as anything what is he huh? oh mouthy as anything but again it? could I say I dislike it I don't know him. do you know what I mean uh, but on the pitch like that what what, giving you a bit like that? Just, uh, just everyone just in, in general, general. aye. What like, about you? Now and then the old like looking the back of people's jerseys. Why is he? 
We we have a Falkirk. I don't mind it by you. Oh, listen, that's that's a thing. You don't mind it, but yeah, but at the time like of that, that, you can no, no. <laughs> Rodney talks. Snyder. He just he's a Dundee United, wasn't he? Uh, I was at with Scotland, the under 17, caught me a wank during the game. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Don't know. Because of what he did in Amsterdam. <laughs> you think jealous is? No, but he was. He was my face as well, mate. But I don't. I, there is. You're, you're, you're bang on, Andy, about that. There's so many players, and I hate them, mate. The ones that are shouting about and fucking. I think that's a cover up by a lot. Insecurity? Uh, no, I, but then as if they are this sort of fucking leader or this. Just like your boots to the top. Just <laughs> <laughs> like your boots to the top. <laughs> Last question. If you bump into your old manager, do you still call him Gaffer? Aye. Most aye. aye. Most aye. 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 Most yep. aye. aye. Most definitely. Most. How you come he's not your Gaffer anymore? I think it'd be weird. Well, tell me, who, 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 who have I bumped into? Uh, who have you bumped into? Who my, my old manager. Bernard? Gaffer. Did you? Definitely. Where did you bump into him after he left Rangers? Dubai. No, I've no, but I'm saying I would. Have you never bumped into no, him? No, no. What, what? Uh, Give me another one. Ex-manager, have you bumped into him? Wank, you're right, wank. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way in. <laughs> 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 <laughs>